What it could be, hopefully it's what it should be. It's your boy N-O-R-E. What up, it's DJ EFN. And this is Drink Champs Yappy Hour. Make some noise! Hey! Now, this guy, now this guy that we have here today, he might be hip-hop's most unique character. He might be a person that hustled for the hustle. This guy he is the only person I've ever known to drop a remix. He ain't even on the remix. It was crazy to me. It's, it's still crazy to me when I go and research it. Uh, he's a hustler. You know, uh, people try to label him a one-hit wonder. He continued from 2012, I believe still dropping music in 2020, 2021. Got shows with Complex, got shows with other people, and he's staying his name out here. In case you don't know, and he got the weirdest nails ever on Drink Champs. <laughs> ever. <laughs> ever. <laughs> if you don't That's know first. who I'm talking about, <laughs> yes. He's talking about Trinidad. Motherfucking James! So what's going on, my guy? I, I, listen, I gotta ask straight up. Yes, yes. Uh, all gold, everything. Yes, sir. Um, I would like to call it an anthem. That's not a hit. It's an anthem. It's an anthem. Yes, I, sir. I don't care where I, when that came out. I don't care where I was. Whether it was Dusseldorf, Germany. Whether it was Dubai. Yes, sir. Whether it was anywhere, it was a hit, 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 hit. Yes, sir. And I believe when I Googled you or searched you, they was like, that was like your third record you ever made? It wasn't my third, but it was in my first 12. It was in your first 12, okay. Yeah. So let, let's, let's just describe that moment for yes, people sir. who don't know. Like, uh, you're, you're a new artist. No. You're taking the game serious or you're not taking it serious? Yeah, were you independent before that? So I was super independent. You know, for right. me, you know, music is a decision. Mm. You know, that's what it was for me. For mm. a lot of people, I feel like, you know, a lot of people tell you, you know, I, I grew up to do this, man, I, I, I've been rapping, blah, blah, blah. Right. No, you right. know, I've been trying to figure it out my whole life. Mm. You know, I was born in Trinidad and Tobago. I came over here as an immigrant. Mm. No green card. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Wow. My mother had to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Wow. My father had to figure it out. Right. And so having to do whatever we needed to do uh -huh. to take care of each other is something that we've always done. Mm. So, when, you know, my father, when my father and mother split, you know, my mother wasn't going to move back to Trinidad right. because it just didn't make sense to go backwards. Even though, let's describe the people, because even though for people who've never been to Trinidad, Trinidad is a beautiful place. Oh, yeah. It's not beautiful. like I'm talking about a third world country. Yeah, 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 you know, like, like, it's, got, it's got its issues, it, too. It, no, it definitely. Yeah. You know, I got family in Live and Tell more. They got some hood shit going on. You there, know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, Maraval. Right. These are all projects in Trinidad. And right. if you go there, you'll be like... Right. Wow, right. What's, you know, like it's you know, it's not what you're used to when it right. comes to like uh, right. natural projects, right. you know. But just in general, you know, that mentality of like, well, we can't go back to Trinidad right now, mm -hmm. you know, it kind of put in my mind where I got to figure it out. So you know, I worked. So your family job. moved from Trinidad straight to Atlanta. So my father moved to America first to figure it out. Okay, but what part of America? America he came. Bay. I think he came to <laughs> Florida first. Okay, wow. He came to okay. Florida I mean, first. You kind know, of Caribbean coming yeah, to Florida. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Florida feel like you know. Yeah, yeah. A, a, a certain type of thing But you know He came to Florida first man And then um, He You know he, he was figuring it out Doing his thing right. Then um, You know Me and my mother We lived in Canada first Because she had to take care Of her sister Because she wow. wasn't She wasn't well Your passport is stamped From the beginning Yeah okay, you know, So yeah, I lived yeah. in Canada uh -huh. Then we left Canada Came back to Trinidad Then we left Trinidad And came to Florida mm. Then we left Florida Went to New York I lived what? in New York Left wow. left, yeah, left New York Then wow. went to Atlanta wow. Left Atlanta Then went to South Carolina wow. Left South Carolina Came back to Atlanta Wow. You know so I mean this is just For me as a teenager That's how my it's teenager It's all shaping you All these places are shaping no, It was super right. important From going right. from An all black school In Atlanta right. To 
all white school in South Carolina. Wow. Wow. You know, that, that gave me the best perspective I ever had on wow. life wow. moving forward. Why I'm successful continuously in the game right. is because I understand people. Right. That, you know, that I, could, I could see people because I had to deal with people growing up. Right. I didn't just have to deal with my own culture. I had to understand why white people think the way that they think. Mm. And, you know, what is also my perspective as a black man compared to a black American's perspective right. is not the same. Caribbeans don't think exactly like how black Americans think. Right. And discriminate against each other. It's different. It's right. different. Like, we don't get taught racism and those type of things in Trinidad like that right. when I was coming up. You because know, black people are the predominant bunch. Yeah, and, and you know what I'm saying? You got Indian islands. and black, so that's brown and black. You but, know well, this also, like what EFN said, um, on the islands that I see a lot, it'd be like color racism. They discriminate. Like, no, they discriminate against black Americans. Oh, yeah, that's you know what I'm saying. Fact. They have an issue. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. Like, you know, people on the islands are called people black American Yankees. It's colonialism. And stuff like that. It's, it's really just yeah. carrying the same colonialism, like that yeah. whole perspective. <laughs> what, what was the, the, the country that colonized Trinidad, just for background history? Um, Do you know? I don't want to say was, the, I don't want to say the wrong thing. Was it, was it England? It would be. France. I, France? Would, I thought it would be France. Okay, no, just, just, I, just I think, it, I right. think it was France. Or whatever. I don't want to be wrong, but I think it's France. <laughs> um, but yeah, man, you know, all in all, I say I give you a little bit of that backstory just to let you know where it's like, in none of this time, mm-hmm. moving around all these places, music was something that was on my mind. Right. It was more of like survival. And you worked at a sneaker store too, right? Right, so it was a clothing store. It was a men's okay. boutique in Atlanta okay. called Ginza on top of the underground. Okay. You know, and that is how I really got to top really of make a name on top of so the people underground. people know the underground is a mall. Mm-hmm. It's in downtown, right? Downtown, downtown Atlanta, Atlanta right. right in the heart of downtown right. Atlanta. Oh, wow. So, you know, Five Points train station, yeah. you got um, CNN Center where the things went down with the riot. All that is right there. Right. The right. Olympic Park where they did the Olympics in 96. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. All this is very close to where I work. So that right. central location, you deal with a lot of people. You deal with all the colleges. You know, so you got, um, you know, Clark Atlanta, right. Spelman, Morehouse. Right. And then you deal with all the people that work in the companies. Like I said, CNN, the Coca-Cola Center, Coca-Cola, all these yeah. type of places. And then you got all the street dudes who hustling mm. or whatever, mm. from Broad Street all the way over to Peter Street, mm. all these different places. So all these people became my people. Right. Because I've always been a person that's been styling somebody mm. for a long time. That was my job before I got into music styling and fashion I mean I've been I was a cook before I I did lawn care I did a move I managed a moving company <laughs> so was it? I, I, I'm bouncing around because this is how we do on drink yeah, chance. Yeah, but was it ever a problem because of uh, what, what was the character from uh, Martin? Uh, Jerome. Jerome. Yes, sir. So uh, was there every like any like copyright characters, or was you even going for that look when you when you when you when you started that? No, sir. Yeah. No, so okay. obviously I'm aware of who that is because I'm a right. big fan of Martin, just okay. like any person, mm-hmm. you know. But yeah. um, definitely wasn't thinking about that. You know, you got to understand that the person, that character mm. that people see and all go everything, that's just who I am. Yeah. You know, yeah. and I, it's really hard for people to understand things that they're not. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? And it's like the intro that you gave me right. here, right. or whatever, as right. one of the most unique people right. that you have ever met. Yes. That's something that's, I've been true to that my entire life. Right. I have not changed the man that I am ever for wow. anybody or wow. anything. Wow. That's why I have such a hard journey. But right. I enjoy my journey because right. I'm the only one to understand it. Right. But I'm the only one that got to live it too. Right. So I'm not really bothered by it. Right. But it's right. an interesting one. Like right. when I have the out of body kind of just like I'm sitting there might be drinking or smoking mm-hmm. I might go back and look at all go everything just right. for to do my homework. Now, I had to do my, I had to do my homework today. <laughs> now I look and it was like there was two different characters. There was I did see the Jerome Rome, right? But I saw your version of it and then I also saw I, it was three people that I saw, even though it was just you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right, right, right. I saw a right. Jerome Rome. I saw a dude that was just like me, proud to be from this other island, but still American, because uh, you know I'm, I'm poor, I'm Puerto mm-hmm. Rican, and so I saw that guy. I saw that like you really had the Trinidad flag in every, in every almost every scene, and then I saw the hood version of who you was right. in Atlanta, like when you right. were walking around with certain people, right. and I was like, wow, this is this is interesting because you embody you you you, you embodied you, you embodied all of these characters. Like right. no character to me was fake. You know what I'm saying? Right. All, all was made it's up. All so, party, but the right. thing is, I do identify with the people when they say Jerome Lee Rome. So that's why when I ask that question, like no Fox or like, you know, like these big studios that ever call you and say, yo, don't don't do that character no more. No, nah, I never and nah, um, we never had any issue from anybody. That was literally I mean the power of the media is just very powerful. They'll make right. it seem like it's an issue, but mm. I've never had an issue with Martin. I've met Martin. Right. You, you met know Martin? What I'm yeah. Oh that's you know hard. What I'm like, that's I've, hard. I've met a lot of people, you know right. what I'm saying? But right. no, I have never had a real issue issue with right. anybody. 
right. misunderstandings from right. the media's perspective, right. that's probably my biggest curse right. or whatever. But just because I stay to myself, right. I stay focused on the work because the right. work is what's going to keep me going. Right. No. What was the issue I think you had in New York? You came to New York and you said something that the New Yorkers wasn't doing for New Yorkers. Something like yeah. that. So um, I had a show for... Um, SOBs, I believe. It, no, it wasn't SOBs. Oh. SOBs was incredible. Okay. I had a show for a Converse okay, in Brooklyn. Well. In, uh, in somewhere. I forgot right. what studios it was. And um, into the, going through the show, you know, I was going through some personal things just on the business side um, right. because this is... This is still early in my career. This is 2013, right. you know, but this is after, you know, I done did three tours. Me and right. Liz done went overseas. Right. I done did the Under the Influence tour. Right. It's amazing. You know, I done hung around right. um, everybody. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. We did our thing. And, you know, you get to hear and learn a lot of things. And, you know, um, at the end of the day, every artist, when you're, you know, on your rise, uh. you go through a lot of pressures because for us, unfortunately, we don't have enough people around us to be the role model. Right. I've never had a role model. Right. I've never had a big it's homie. Like you're figuring right. it out. I've you always go. have figured every single thing out myself. Right. Right. So, you know, I'm never going to make an excuse about it. The right. things that I said at that time, Take a shot. the things that I said at that time yeah. were, you know, very true based on what I was hearing. Mm. Because I was coming to New York City, uh -huh. you know, and I grew up a huge fan. You was basically seeing New York City play more of Atlanta than New York City. It, I seen them play more of everybody else wow. than the artists who I like. You know, was at a the transitional time, period. You know what I'm saying? Like my story has never changed. It's uh -huh. like you know, at the time, you know, Dave East was was on his rise, but he was right. super dope to me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Joey Badass. All these people were super dope to me, but I never heard them on New York radio. Wow. And obviously, I'm hearing my song. Right. 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 I'm hearing the right. Migos. I'm hearing this, right. that, that. I'm just hearing right. other and things. It's weird to you. All right. So it was just like, and then I'm also hearing artists complain right. about New York radio right. or whatever. So I'm looking at it as like, look, man, I've always been a person to tell the truth for somebody or stand up for a stand up. If you're getting bullied, I'm going to stand up for you, bro. Mm. You know what I'm saying? If you feel like you're getting injustice done to you, I'm going to stand up for you. Because you feel like you was, you was representing for the artist, but meanwhile, a couple of artists took back of that. A couple of artists of was course, like... Of course, because of the way... And that comes back to my fault because okay. of my energy that I put behind it. Okay. My personal problems that I was dealing with on, my, on myself as a businessman right. or whatever, that had me frustrated with myself. Right. And that also, that side of me came out right. on stage right. when I'm saying that. Right. If I could do anything different about that situation, right. I would have just loved to have the energy that I know that I truly have mm -hmm. when it comes to right. to that. So you know misunderstood the way you said it. Yeah, right. what I said was very true. Right. It was no lies told there. Right. Right. But the way that I delivered it could have been way better. Right. And I knew exactly, at the time I didn't understand my energy mm -hmm. because I had never been in this business. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I'm finding out everything fast in right. the midst of it. Right. And so, you know, um, the media ran with it the way they wanted to. Right. You know, certain artists ran with it the way they wanted to. Right. And for me, I was a little confused. I believe it was me, you and Mayno, you had a discrepancy and you worked it out real Yeah, fast. we definitely, I ran into him in person uh -huh. or whatever, you know what I'm saying? A lot of things were said online, but online is just not where I reside. Right. That's not my thing. Uh -huh. You know, because um, I never, I never practiced that. I never experienced Big that. Big up, man. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm and if you explain so, what you meant, I'm sure they'd, they'd even agree. Yeah. The, yeah. The thing about it, I is... I appreciated it when I heard him ex right. explain it. Everybody's I story, it. after the fact, as the years continued, that what I said. Like, once again, it was my delivery that was wrong. Right. But everybody it's, it's realized like, that it was true. It's almost like, yo, I could be for my family, but somebody else be for my family. It almost seems like that sometimes. Like, it's like, you, you know, can't, you you can't you, be the you, dude to talk to me you about know, my girlfriend. Your sister, <laughs> your sister come outside, your sister came, yeah. right? And you say, hey, look, girl, go upstairs. But then somebody from another project say, yeah, right. Hey, right? Talk to my sister like yeah, that. You exactly. know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And yeah. all that is fair. Yeah. All that right. is fair, and I understood that, you know what I'm saying? And that's probably been the hardest lesson I probably learned in, what, nine years? Right. I've been, because this year will make nine and I'm years. A, I'm going to tell you my, well, I'm a fan, by the way, but I'm going to tell you your illest move you made, but it probably might have been your biggest mistake. We, but we'll take a salute to your motherfucking your career, your motherfucking everything. Sure, sure, Damn, sure. I'm the only one the big shot. Because you you're the it. big dog. Yeah, yeah, you got it, it, man. You know it, right, man. <laughs> this your show. I'm going to tell you like this. <laughs> Yes, sir. I think doing the remix uh, without you on it okay. was the boldest shit for, for a new artist. And I'm going to tell you why I think it was 
like your biggest mistake. Okay, tell me. Because it was that time for you as an artist to shine, to shine, and to like. Although I believe, I believe I know who you are. I believe you a guy with a good heart. Right. And you, you felt like you was probably there, and you are, you know. But it was that moment where you were supposed to rap with Ti, rap with Two Chains, and rap with uh, Jeezy, mm-hmm. and literally try to take their fucking head off. As an artist, right. That's what the world wanted. I'm talking about people for like me, right, right, right. who is real fans of this shit, and I'm fan of when a guy gets his opportunity. And to, 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 but what you did was honorable. It was like the city was coming up, and you gave, you sacrificed your own record. But you, you hear what I'm coming from? No, 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 I hear exactly. I just yeah. wanted to make sure that you finish your statement. Okay, yeah, because to me, I just felt like that's what I wanted from you. Like, I remember rewinding the record and saying, did this guy really, and did he, don't you say on the beginning of the record, be like, I don't even need a verse. I'm going to let the let the mm-hmm. Right at the end, I was like, I'm going to ride wrong. Okay, no, so, was that, was that, hold up, before you answer, was that strategy or arrogance? There was never arrogance. I okay. don't have to move with arrogance. That's just right. really not my energy. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? I, That's I feel really, it. I truly feel not. Energy. No, no, I'm yeah, saying, yeah, like, bro, I'm gonna be, look at it that way. No, I'm going to be the per- I promise I've been the same right. person, but for the last 20 I, years. You know what? I, 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 I can't answer for you at all. But I can just feel your energy now that you're not, not right, arrogant. Right, right. But person. I mean, someone looking but, at that. that but record. I wanted you to be no, arrogant. No, no, no. So that's the artist. That's the artist. I wanted you. And the first thing I'll say is. I wish he was my big homie. Right, say right, that to me. Right, right, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, I, I had nobody to right. tell me. And I ran my right. whole show. Right. I did everything myself. You know what I'm saying? Everybody just facilitated so things. And I still want you to answer this question. Yeah. So there was nobody at Def Jam that said, yo, you know what? This is your time to, like, no, nobody. I that's, promise that's you, bro, so I have never had a big homie. That, wow. The only person that's ever said something to me that I was like, I appreciate that right. was Two Chains. I would have, and he checked me. When uh, he sent me his verse for the All Go Everything remix, uh-huh. or whatever, and when he sent it to me, I was like, oh, thank you, bro. But obviously, I'm doing a million things and right. trying to figure out life, right. and I didn't get right back to him to like listen to the verse, and he called me and pressed me. I was like, yo, like, yo, you like, like yo, when somebody send you a verse of my statue, <laughs> you listen to it right now, and you let me know. <laughs> I was like, like, <laughs> that's that Virgo shit, that's that Virgo shit, go ahead. So from 2013 uh-huh. onwards, anytime somebody of the right stature sent me a verse, <laughs> right, right, right. I listen to, to it right there. Even I got listen to right. the phone in my ear. I'm right. like, hey, this verse is hard. Right. And we go there, and I go listen to it in the right place. Right. It was never because once again, it's not disrespect. Right. But you know, to give you something that I've never right. even said to anybody before, uh-huh. to be honest with you, I didn't want to do a remix. Mm. I did not want to do a. Ooh. I did not want to do a remix. Okay. Everybody else around me wanted to do a remix mm-hmm. because they wanted to make money. Mm-hmm. Right, continue the. You know, for me, I love Titty Boy before right. he turned into Chase. Like, yeah, I, I, I Titty grew Boy. Yeah. up yeah. on that. Right. You know what I'm saying? I love, right. you know, T.I. Right. You know what I'm saying? 24s right. is on my, like, if I'm on an island stuck for the rest right. of my life and I need right. to have 10 songs, right. 24s is probably one of those right. songs. Right. You know what I'm saying? I grew up on the Jeezy that everybody loves. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So the, my respect level is on the mountain, but right. this is my journey. Right. This is not their journey. Yeah. And they made it their journey. Okay. You know what I'm saying? They want, they put themselves on it right. or whatever. Not to change, but like right. the, like I think like T.I. and Jesus, they put themselves oh, yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, they, they, like, they I wouldn't be on it. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. I would ever, I didn't even get a chance to ask them. Mm-hmm. I would ever. So for me, right. you know, it didn't feel like the way that I wanted this to go. Mm-hmm. And that was the hard lesson in the business, where it's mm-hmm. like, these people are not your friends, bro. Right. That's you know wait, what I'm wait, saying? Wait, like, wait, this is ill. Like, like this me, is Ill me, me, not me and T.I. in a way better place now. Right. But for the first beginning of my career, I really wanted to stay away from him because it didn't feel that he had any respect for me. I don't understand because so 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 um all right, so let me try to get this, let me try to understand this a little bit because you have the biggest record in the world mm-hmm. at this time. T.I. Yeah, does a version of it. Mm-hmm. Without, without your permission, but that's hip hop, you know know that. And it was more of it was other he I think that People who was doing business for me at the time, because I wasn't just doing all my own business myself. Right. I was just doing the creative part and the music and, you know, trying to make connections. But I was with an independent label, T.I.G. Right. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You know, they do Lucci, they do, you know, people, boom, 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 Richard McQuan, blah, blah, uh-huh. blah. You know, at the time I'm doing business, 
they're doing the business for me, and they know different people. And right. obviously, everybody would want to. This is a great look to do a song with these legendary people. Right. right. But once again, as you can see, I don't do things traditional. Right. That's never been me. Right. So to kind of like force me into this traditional wave, right. it, it was offensive to me, but mm. I dealt with it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I'll give you another so, piece of information. Okay. I have to tell you this or yeah. whatever. Like, yeah. that really, really rubbed me to like a crazy way about just the industry and just in general. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I got charged 40000 in wardrobe for their wardrobe, referring to Jeezy, Tip, and video? 2 Chains. And if you go back to 2013, you go look at the Algo Everything remix, look and see what T.I. wore. Look and see what Jeezy wore. Jeezy had on a dicky suit, yeah. and T.I. had on Hustle Game. Right. His own brand. <laughs> Finesse me out of my own 40 bands. You know what I'm saying? Out of my and label budget. Up. I did just Which look at your label trick. You know what I'm saying? I got to pay 40. I had to pay 40 bands for that. Just, dog, I'm a stylist, dog. Before I'm music. He already knew it. Dog, that burnt my soul, dog. Right, right. That burnt my soul. Like, I had to perform that. But you didn't pay, you didn't pay for the verses? No. Oh, okay. So I, yeah, but they had yeah, already yeah. jumped on them. Yeah, 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 it, it, yeah, it was, it was a bigger ever. look right. for them to do it. If right. you look at the time, this is nothing I say. No, no it's I never swear, this. I, I swear to God, you know what I'm saying? It's never as, this. As, as I'm a, just a as, fat person. As a, as a, as a fan, and I I see with everything you're saying. Like I actually can see it. I can see where you, where I can see where people thought it was arrogance, and I can see where you thought it was like genius, and it was genius. And but I can see like. I just would really, really wish you would just show your ass and just say, no, Yo, if you I, know what? Like I say, if you was my big homie, but, I would have been like, oh, but shit, I'm surprised, said that? I'm surprised cool. 2 Chainz didn't say that. I'm surprised Jeezy. I'm surprised no. even T.I., but you no, said you and T.I. It, yeah. was, it, it was just, it was different because I didn't know them. Like, I okay. only met T.I. one time, and that first occasion wasn't the right occasion. It, that wasn't the video? It was, that wasn't the video okay. before, prior, mm -hmm. at the studio session. Okay. It just, our energy from the beginning. Wow. It wasn't good. Wow. And it was based off of how he approached me. Wow. Or whatever, because it, it, it felt like... I'm interested. Like how did he, did it it? Felt, how did he it approach felt you? That to me, because I'm an I'm a observer of people. Mm -hmm. I'm a people person. Yeah. If anybody truly knows I can tell you he was born in September. You know, exactly. Yeah. Or whatever. So mm -hmm. I realized, I was like, oh, he's coming to uh, have a, a dick swinging contest. Wait a minute, what? Hold on, hold on. I wasn't yeah. ready. I wasn't ready. Hold on. He's coming to the studio to, to you know, I'm, you know, working on my music, working on my craft. Yeah, you whatever. don't mean the actual. You mean yeah. like, you don't know I mean like, like music. Mental, mental, like, okay, mentally. Yeah, 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 mentally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you talking about? Actually? Now, you know, you got to get talking about our fans. It's not for right. me. No, no, no. Mentally. Yeah. So, you know, I, I, I peeped that, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, Hey man, you know, I would think that you know he would come to like give me some game or something. Right. You know what I'm saying? This is our first time meeting. Uh, whatever, and you, you know, already so. got all going out. Yeah, like bro, I'm lit. All right, At this it. point in time, right now, I'm lit in the right. city of Atlanta. I can't speak for New York. Right. I can't. I got in Atlanta, it. I'm, I'm number one. I'm right not, now listen, at the I'm not Ti spokesman, but I gotta tell you, man, when you had a number one record in the motherfucking world, you a threat. Right. You a threat to and, a certain extent. And, 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 and you and ain't supposed to. I'm just telling you, you ain't supposed to. That's why this shit goes back to the sports world. It's like, a, and then like hip hop is a black like, sport. I love when I fucking right. interview athletes because they be like, "Yo, what? As soon as the dude is a rookie, as soon as he come in the league, they want to let him know." Boom. Immediately. So somebody. And that's who he was. So that's. I mean, that's that's, who that's, who that's he was. like a chin That's a chin check. And I was saying in 2013. Or whatever, or it started with Tip in 2012, right. like December. Right. You know what I'm saying? So right. like that's how that started, or whatever, mm. or somewhere around that early. That, that's so that through, to the league for energy. me. I was just like, <laughs> oh, this is what I got to deal with. This feel like high school. <laughs> right. yes, you know yes, what I'm saying? Yes. Like this it's feel like high school. Though. And no, I feel like high school because right. I went to a lot of different high schools. I went to a different high school every year, so I knew I knew what that. I was like, bruh. Yeah, right. I'm telling you. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, solid. Let's take another shot. Let's, let's take another shot. Stop. Solid, listen, I'm not on the outside, man. No, no, it's not even the boss side because, once again, I do appreciate... Mm. Oh, it's shot, right? You got to take it. You got to take it. No, because I'm just telling you, I can see, not to say, like, because uh, I don't really know the energy he's played, right. but I can see, like, certain people being threatened because your first record, like, your record is a monster. It's a monster. Like, it's, it's not like... There's people who have hits. There's people who have gold... Platinum records Facts. that don't have that one single. Facts. That's like that. So Super facts. I can see 
Somebody being threatened, like man. And, and tell and me, your image. But tell me, yeah, tell me if I'm wrong. It felt like it marked a new era. Yeah, you could. Like, you I, marked a new I, era. I feel like you no, did. It I feel like you changed the, the word. The term world. viral did not exist right. in hip hop. Talk that shit. It did not Talk exist. That shit. Talk Niggas that. never Talk that ever shit. said this nigga going viral. Right. I'm Talk trying to go viral. Right. Niggas have never ever said that. That's right. I, bro, I'm a fan. I'm a I'm a fan of. Hip hop, bro. A fan of music, listening to everybody's shit, bro. Right. Respectfully, we've never said that term of like, oh, nigga, that nigga just went viral today. Right. Right. That just wasn't in our vocabulary right. yeah. yeah. until all go everything came out. Right. Then every label from there on out, and still right now, is trying to find artists to make them go viral. Right. right. That's what they do. And what right. Def Jam did with you was monumental. At the but, time. but 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 here's the crazy shit, yeah, man. You threw that video out on your own without yeah. Def Jam. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. We did that. So, we got our stuff to I'm number 17, about the 15, 15 on the, the charts. deal, everybody was looking at that deal. Hold on, let's, like, let's, it started let's get to that. Let's get to right. that next. But, but, but that's just money. For right, these, right, right, for right, these right. youngins that's out there right mm -hmm. now that's looking for the... Can you ex explain exactly. what was your vision? Like Because, you know, there's somebody somewhere that don't know nothing. And they, they, have, exactly. they have the same questions that you have or I had or you had coming up. But... Let them know your your process, your success, how you did it. Well, for me, I had to learn everything on the go. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to make sure that I played to my strong points. Mm -hmm. So vision and image mm -hmm. was my strong points. Right. I knew I had work to do on the, on the music side of things, right. but the music had already proved that it could sell, mm -hmm. obviously. Mm -hmm. I never put a gun to anybody's head and said, you need to listen, I'll go everything. Right. Nobody around me ever did that. Right. We literally right. just passed out a CD like, bro, check out my new stuff. Right. Because you rock with me, my energy, that's how the first CD start moving around. Right. Because like, oh, that's my boy. That, he done dressed right. me right. For a hundred summers, that's my boy. Right. Yeah, of course, I listened to it one time. Right. People Kip gravitated. Was on here. He told he was, he was a stylist at one point. Yeah, yeah. Okay. you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So like that right there gravitated. That what made the first CDs move around mm -hmm. or whatever. So that got the CD going, got the music going. People gravitated to to number six, which was all mm -hmm. go everything. Mm -hmm. They just gravitated to it. I mm -hmm. never told anybody you should listen to number six because number six wasn't the strongest song to me. Right. In my head, right. that's right. the last song I recorded. Right. For it, and that was the one I wanted to do for the people in the streets. I feel like mm -hmm. I had everybody else who I dealt with. Because once again, I told you, I'm dealing with college students. Right. I'm dealing with people who work in big so businesses. So when you made this record, you already visualizing the video? I didn't visualize the visual. I didn't visualize the video until it was actually time to do the video. And that, where's that video at? College Park? That's not College Park. No, nah, that video's on the South Side. South Side. Okay. I mean, he just said he didn't even think that was the record. Woo. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because once again, I'm brand new in it, and once, there's no role models. Mm -hmm. Nobody around me know music well enough to be like what you said, like, bro, right. you got to tear right. these old niggas' heads right. off yeah. on this on remix. Yeah. You know, nobody's saying that to me. If somebody has said, if a person like you, not right. even you, right, right. has said that to me, right. it, nigga, young Joe could have said it to me. Right, right, I, right. I would have wow. went crazy. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. <laughs> but nobody right. ever said that right. those words to me. Like, bro, you right. got to take their head. Because right. I love perspective that makes right. sense. I'm a right. common sense type of guy. Right. If you give me a perspective that actually makes sense, right. I'll be like, oh, okay. Because I'm going to tell you something. By listening to T.I., in Jeezy's verse, it's almost like they knew you was gonna jump in. They knew you had no choice to like to like use their verse. See, I could tell that Two Chains was a verse that was sent to you. Yeah, Two Chains. See, Two Chains. I think that we had Jeezy and it's a little hard for me to remember now, but I okay. think we had Ti's and Jeezy's first, mm. and then when well, I was like, man, we got to do Chains right. because I actually, you know, what I'm saying right. like. I, I, I might as well, you know what I'm saying? This makes sense to me, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like for this, because I'm a right. music person. I've, right. I've always been a producer before I knew I was a producer right. of music, of how to put together a track right. or whatever. Right. Like that's just my thing. That's my right. superpower. Right. And so, you know, well, actually, that's why I had to learn that hard lesson with Change when he was like, bro, you just like, I didn't do this verse. I did it for the, for the love. I rock with you. And also, he did it for the love. But in reality, too, being honest, the record is huge. Yeah. It's a great look. It's right. Because it's he was transitioning to two chains. Right. Right. He was right. transitioning also. Right. No, you definitely put your city before you at that time. I swear to God. Like, when you look at that, that was like a Jesus move. That was like, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm sacrificing everything. Bro, because I've been the sacrificial lamb, bro. Yeah, nah, I've nah, been the sacrificial nah, lamb, nah, bro. What do you, you mean? What do you mean? Like, I just meant that moment. I nah, didn't. The sacrificial lamb from the standpoint of, like, bro, everybody has had, got even bigger checks than I got after me or whatever because people learned 
what to do with an artist you don't understand. Right. Mm-hmm. The biggest difference between me and Def Jam was they just didn't understand. Mm-hmm. I was like the first of my kind. Uh, absolutely, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Do you think you are, um, yeah, like, you know, this, 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 Everybody's getting angry. Yeah, yeah, like, nothing you can yeah, do about it. Let me get some more ace on the side. Not for nothing, you should all look at it. Yeah, um, but, for lack of a better term, just this whole thing, mumble rap. Yes, sir. And that first mumble rap was looked upon. Did we just talk about this? Yeah, we did. Oh, yeah, so we did. Just, and Mad Skills didn't think it was a real I, no, thing. I didn't think it was a real oh, thing. Oh, it was Mad Skills. I didn't think it was a Mad Skills. And I said, at first it looked at it like it was, it, was, it was frowned upon, almost like how backpack rap was. Backpack rap, I, I don't think used to look at it, it was frowned upon. I don't think it's the same. Years, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm telling you. I'm just telling you my perspective. Back, mumble rap was something that people were like, oh, mumble rap. But now mumble rap is like something respectable. Do you feel like you're one of the kings of mumble rap? I don't think so. Okay. I don't think that mumble. I don't because I didn't. That and came after me. I felt Ooh. mumble rap came in like 2014, 20 the end of tw- like 2014. Like that wasn't really my thing. Like McConan mm. and those guys were kind of giving you like Ooh, melody McCone. driven. Uh. Melody so, is different to me than mumbling though. Well, I'm saying, I'm saying mm. like, nobody actually really makes money off of like just genuinely mumbling. Well, like, that's what they I'm saying. They got to foreign words. I told them I can't believe that anybody would actually say I am a mumble rapper. No, no, I think that like you melody driven. Your I think melody driven. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know now someone. Sorry, but no, yeah, I just like, I just couldn't see it. Like I I felt like that came out as a diss more. Like these are mumble rappers oh, because they like, say shit. Back, that's the I that's the you backpack rap. I don't see it the same, Yo, bro. EFN, you no, know that man. was not. A, that, no, was that, a was a diss, that was a diss. That was a that slur. Was a diss. That first, was a diss. Right? Right? If they called you a back rack rapper, you know what they yeah. were saying? That's all you have money to give when you, you some back. When you call someone a back, they wanted to pull out a gun and start shooting. Yeah, just because just that was hardcore hip hop. Right? You was a hardcore hip hop, and they would call you backpack. Now backpack rapper, you're like, oh, okay, that's a Tyler quality. Wait, I think it's like, different. Like, I think it's different. And it's, it's respect. Well, most deaf, it's respectful right. people would it. Right. But at first, it wasn't. I'm just saying, I was dead. So you think mumble rap should be respected? I think. The version of mumble rap with the melodies, like like the homie just said, with the melodies, uh, they're, they're not mumbling. It's just you can't really articulate everything. I think that I'm just saying they wouldn't call themselves mumble rap. I think they do. That's what I, I think. I think they Personally. are. Want, want another shot? Come on, Trey, you gotta help us out, man. You gotta help us take another shot too. I'm Come on, pour another shot, got this. Pour another shot, got this. We gonna get to the bottom of mumble rap today. Come on. Salud, goddammit. Let me do a good on, shot. Yeah, get to do a good shot. Sure I don't know about doing the great here. shots, bro. <laughs> come on, goddammit. Salud. Salud, come on. Yeah. 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 See, what I've realized... Help us with this conversation, yeah. So what I what I would say to you is this, and... I mean, I mean, nine years might not be a lot in this game, but right. for me enough. to still be here, it means a lot to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, every day somebody count me out. Absolutely. Every single day. Mm. So what I'd say is, in the midst of it, I still study and do my homework. Right. On the game. Right. Because you have to. That's the right. only way. Right. I feel like you did your homework right. to get this podcast. Right, exactly. To understand. Yeah. Nobody would know yeah. that the yeah. guy mm-hmm. that did songs with Pharrell mm-hmm. and was like yep. a real live yep. street nigga yep. Yep. could talk that yep. talk and yep. have conversations yep. with yep. anybody. Yes, they knew you could communicate with me, goddammit. Hey, 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 hey. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Yep. So that is why I do my homework because. Right. I meet so many different brothers right. or whatever from the Playboy Cardis to right. Right. Um, Ho. Right. You know, I've met wow. all these people. Wow. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And wow. got respect from all these people, Andre 3000. Right. You know, and I realized that like when I get to talk to them, I always talk to a different person. I don't right. talk to the person that yeah, you see consumers TV. see on yeah. TV. I get right. to talk to the actual person. Mm-hmm. And so I know that this is a good brother or a good sister. Let me oh, ask yeah. you something, right? Because right. when I Googled you, one of the first things that popped up was One Hit Wonder. Mm-hmm. Now, I know that you're aware of that because I'm aware of what they call me. But do you consider yourself that? Or how, 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 how does one say that when they say that? Well, I think that at the end of the day, when somebody only has one hit that you know, right. then the right. science of it is you have one hit. Right, right. Or oh, whatever. But, I mean, mm-hmm. I have a lot of plaques. Right, exactly. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Talk, like, talk, talk that talk. So it's like, for uh-huh. me, it's kind of like how somebody look at If you don't have your own song plaques, right. Right. then you only going to get counted for the ones that you have plaques for that are your song. Mm. So like August Alcina, that's double platinum. Work right. Remix, that's double platinum. Wow. Um, Bruno Mars, that's wow. diamond. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Like That doesn't count 
for hits for yeah. for me. It's your lyrics, you're saying. Because yeah. that's, 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 that's their hit. That counts when you walk up. That definitely that counts. We know. Yeah, we know. Counts. Because yeah. some yeah. of those records wouldn't be hits if I wasn't on right. it. Right, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that counts. Motherfucker, talk that talk. Motherfucker, talk that talk. Put it down. Talk that talk. Put it down. But also at the same to answer, get back to what we're talking about, right. which is mumble rappers right. and yeah. you know that perspective. Yeah. You know, I truly, truly feel that to actually make it in this game, it's still not easy. No. So no. And whatever you're doing, whatever yeah. that skill craft that you bring to it, right. or whatever, you still got to be the best version of it. Right. You know what I'm saying? You do open the door right. for a certain can of worms that right. certain people are, who are sticklers of this game will right. be like, I hate that. Right. I hate everything it stands for. Right. And that's totally fine. Right. It's people that hated Uncle Luke. Yeah. Right. Uncle right. Luke ain't Nori. Right. Oh. Uncle Luke ain't Jay-Z. Uncle Luke right. ain't Biggie. Right. But the Uncle Luke is Uncle Luke. Uncle Luke. And two yeah. Crew Uncle Luke. Is two yeah. Loud Crew is and two Loud Crew. Right. Right. What we're talking about, right. everybody is, the biggest thing at the top of the pyramid for me is hip-hop. Right. Mm. Is keeping rap the number one genre. Mm. Because at one point in time, you, we wasn't. Mm. Right. And so whatever it takes to keep us at number one, right. go for it. Right. So I'm with you. Right. Me, that's for me, respectfully. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because that is what's important. Mm. We can't depend on the best rappers to keep hip hop number one because no. they haven't. Right. That's true. I respect when that. When the best rappers were the best rappers, hip hop yeah. wasn't number one. Yeah. Until when everybody became inclusive. When every, Boom. When everybody Migos, mattered. Everybody mattered. Everybody mattered. Yes. Everybody yeah. mattered. Yeah. Country, that's that's, when, that's right. when everybody. That's when we became number one. Right. So that's what's important. Mm. And this doesn't take away. This doesn't take away from right. how great Kendrick Lamar can rap or J right. Cole or any right. of the niggas who can rap. Right. It doesn't take away from the way that Playboy Cardi puts his songs together because right. we are all equally important. Right. Because the number one thing that should be at the top of the pyramid is rap, is hip hop. And most of the lyrical, lyrical great rappers, they spacious in their times in their albums anyway. There's no one like like you know that's, that's supposed to be like the best that drop the album. Year after year, no, like yeah, Kendrick yeah. right now. Like, yeah, how long Kendrick, it takes him to nah, put out an album? Right. Right. And, then if, yeah. and then if Kendrick drop his album, which I can't wait for, and and, and and it don't live up to your hype, right, right, you know, right. now what? Right. Is he not right. the Kendrick that's right. killed right. it for us for mm. all these umpteen years? Mm. You really, truly mm. can't please mm. anyone. Yeah, that's the moral of the story. Right. You truly right. can't. You know, um, opinions is what keeps this game going. Right. It what gets us paid. It what allows us to have conversation and have podcasts. What's the worst opinion you ever heard of yourself? Oh, I mean that, you know, I'm not going to make it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not, that, and this That's was, the worst? That's the worst. Right, cool. That's the worst. You know, right, anything cool. else, don't, I probably haven't heard it. Probably mm. been worse. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I mean, my appearance or right. whatever, but right. I, I can't be mad at the person I see every morning. Right. Right. I fuck with that guy. In the mirror, you know what I'm saying? Like, right, right, right. That's my nigga when I look in the mirror. <laughs> you know, last time I checked. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, so right. That, that's petty. Like I said, once again, like, bro, when I got into this game, it felt like high school all over again. Right. And high school, I was pretty fucking cool, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? I was pretty fucking yeah, cool. That's why I wanted to, like, Again, I didn't want to take take up take up for Ti or nothing like that. That's my man, but I didn't yeah, want to take up. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to take up for him. But I could understand, like, you know, you coming from left field, like with this with this energy that they don't understand. Like, it's in this right. town. In my, my own city. city. In my own Atlanta city. Atlanta is indicative of what you do. Like, yeah. Dungeon yeah. Family. Yeah. Yeah. Always okay. been. You know, these are my big, big crazy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 was like, that's our tribe. That's my alien yeah. right there. Yeah. I can see him being competitive, though. Like, and, and and that's, at the yeah. time, you know, for me. I don't think he was me, being a dick like how you interpreted it. I think he's being competitive. You see, in the moment, his attitude wasn't the best attitude. Yeah. Or whatever, and, and you know, it might have been something he was just going like through. think about it. Like I just watched this shit on on on, on Netflix called The Crew, and it's about this NASCAR shit. This is how much I really love Kevin James as an actor. I hate NASCAR, but I was able to watch this whole season, and none of the people who drove cars against each other got along. It just was like it was the nature of the business. It was just like all right, cool. Right. Like, like we're actually cool as people, but when we get to the to, to, to the bar together, fuck you, motherfucker. Your, your right. motherfuckers is over there, right. and I was like, this is hip hop. I was like, right. oh shit, this has to right. this hip hop. Right. Like, we all got this one little place we hang out with, but and like, I'm still trying to take your head off. I'm still trying to show you that I'm the I'm the man. That was probably that energy. No, he was that giving. was definitely that was definitely his energy. And he was probably just naming himself the king of the south too at that time. Well, no, nah, you got to think about oh, it. this. Is 2013. Saying. He been the king of the okay, south. Okay, okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. At that time, right there, if you go back to 2013. Uh-huh. Everything felt the same. The reason wow. why I came with something different wow. because it just felt like I got tired of 
what we were doing. It just felt traditional. Right. And once again, I've never been a traditional person. Right. And so I was like, okay, I got something to say. I got something to show. Right. I got something I want to get off my chest. Right. Or whatever. I'm going to do my music. Right. You know, and it wasn't to be, to go up against right. P.I. Right. Or whatever, because coming from where I'm coming from, how I look at the game at the time, right. I'm not coming in with the big perspective. Right. Because I don't even know, I'm, I'm like, you know what, I'm going to just start independently right. and build myself up. I don't know where this going to go because I'm all, my life is already kind of together. Right. On the styling side of things, running the clothing store, I'm in the streets, I'm hustling, I'm cool with everybody. Right. The real street niggas, right. you know what I'm saying, the, the lit college students, you know, the right. people who work at all the good companies, lawyers. Right. These all come to rock with me on a Friday when they get paid. Right. So, let, you know so let me ask you because I think EFN started earlier. Like you had one of the biggest deals from Def Jam at that time. At that mm -hmm. time, man. At that time, it came out. They came all the labels, I believe, because it blew up without the actual yeah, label. It's like right? college basketball when you're in high school. Yeah, right. so, all the colleges give them sending letters. So they came, <laughs> up in and I believe it was a two million dollar deal. Or oh, I'm low. It was around there. Okay, a little bit up. No, 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 no. It's not enough. more than two. Okay, no, all right. <laughs> all right, cool. So, you got one record, but Def Jam, how does that, how does that feel? Like, what is that, L.A. Reid at the time? No, nah, no, nah, that's um, um, Steve. Steve Bottles? No, that's Barry Weiss. Barry. That's Barry Weiss. Wow. He is the, he's the CEO at the time. Um, the people that signed me at the time was Boo, Karen Kwok, Sean Peck. Karen Kwok, that is uh, and shout out to the my boy Chris Atlas. The Asian homegirl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Chris Atlas. Chris Atlas. 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 Chris Atlas. Atlas. Yeah, great people. Yeah. Sean Peck, you know, Sean Peck yeah. great people. You know mm. what I'm saying? Wow. Um, like I said, Boo, Akon's brother. Yeah, that's right. Because these are the people that kind of put stuff together. Shout out to, I've got to give um, love to Shaka. Um, um, not the Shaka one from Zulu. Atlanta. Shaka from The one from New York. Yeah, Rock Nation. Yeah, of course. Boom, you know what I'm saying? Because he had a part in, in situations. I never knew the details of it, but I knew he always kind of like felt the type of way because he got finessed some type of way. I had nothing to do with that. I would have, but that's on business side. But I, I'm going to give him his flowers right, because right. thank you. Right, right. Whatever he was saying right. helped my name, okay. you know, put my worth up. Right. right. You know, and... Too much Shaka Zulu? No, he, he said it's a different Shaka. No, it's not about Shaka Pilgrim? Not Shaka from Atlanta. Shaka Pilgrim. Which I'm assuming is Luda's Shaka. Yeah, but Shaka, 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 Shaka Pilgrim is a woman. Not, that's a woman from Rock Nation. Yeah, the, I think we're talking about the same shock. Like, yeah. the, what, what, you used to be at Def Jam way back? Yeah, you used to be at Def Jam. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, 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 we're that's, talking that's, New York here. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got this, I got this. I got your back. Right. Come two on, more come woman, on, man. Two more women. No more shots for this guy. No, no, no. It was you who said it, because you said shocking the homie like that. Nah. No. Shaka Pilgrim is a woman. So she worked. She used to work at Def Jam. Oh, not the woman. The okay. man. It's a man. So that's that's, that's got to be Luda Shaka. That's got to be Luda Shaka. Because they was at Def Jam, so he, yeah, was, he was doing a lot of things at Def Jam. Yeah. yeah. Well, anyway, Shaka. Yeah, Luda Shout out. Shaka. Okay. It's okay. a person who got finessed. Okay. I'm giving you your flowers right now. All right, now. cool. I got this nigga oh. number. I'm about to think about calling him right now. You might have to call him just to, just, just verify. <laughs> you might need get, to get, verify it. Look at it. Keep seeing your story. But so, you know, these are the people who, you know, were involved in putting it together, you know, and I met with, you know, a lot of labels, you know, I met with a lot of labels, and um, I met with L.A. Reid, too. L.A. Reid was dope. I met with Jimmy Iovine. Jimmy Iovine is the man. Yeah. Jimmy Iovine, Jimmy, Jimmy Iovine gave me courtside seats to the Lakers game. Were you mad? Um, I'm not mad. Or was it any disappointment when um, you went with Def Jam and didn't go with anybody else? No, it definitely wasn't disappointment. Looking back at it, right. I do wish that I went with RCA. Mm. If I'm not mistaken, I think RCA, RCA or Columbia, one of the two, uh -huh. or whatever. Be just because looking at it, mm. they under they go a little bit harder for their uh, different type of artists. Okay, or whatever. Def Jam is traditional, right? And once again, like I keep saying to you, I'm not traditional. Well, not so traditional. They have flavor Flav. Yeah, but no. he was a part they of a traditional flavor group. By himself. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's part mm. of a traditional yeah. group, like the way that hip hop is supposed to be right. ran. Right. Which right. you know, I respect that. Pick it up. Oh, uh, we don't know. Let's see. No, sir. <laughs> 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 he did not pick it up. My call back. He doesn't know why. Though. I just, I just, I just Facetime. He doesn't know why. You know, so. Um, Good. That was the difference. You know what I'm saying? I would say that that was like one of the, the biggest things. You know, I just had to learn a hard lesson. Like, I didn't like, huh. you know, what I, the, the one thing, and, and if there's anything I don't like about everything that went down, was that, you know, if we're doing business right. as grown men and women, right. you know, it's like for me, 
If me and you doing business, I'll never tell nobody in here about our business. Right. You know what I'm saying? Especially when it comes to how much money. Like if I'm doing, if you're doing a service for me right. and you charge me 20 bands, and 20 bands is what I paid you, right. or whatever, I'm not gonna run and tell everybody in here how much I paid you. Right. right. That's just not my thing. But I just realized that everything that you do in this game, when you're coming in at the top or when you're at the top, is announced. Or whatever is, people got to announce it. They want. Yeah. They want. You know, uh, what validation. And I've never lived in a place of validation, so that just turned me off from the day right after I signed. Or whatever, of like, oh, I see what everybody is about in this game. Right. I get it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't fully get it, but I, I see it for what it is, and I just gotta move accordingly and find myself within it. Because obviously I'm not gonna quit. Mm -hmm. uh, we here now. Right. You know, so I'm not gonna quit, but I see what y'all about from everybody, from right. artists, you know what I'm saying? I, T.I. taught me the hard lesson. Right. I learned a great lesson from 2 Chains. Right. I learned a hard lesson from Def Jam. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Everybody mm -hmm. taught me very hard lessons. I would have, you so know, New York taught like? me a hard lesson. What you know? was it like? Because what was the second single after, um, 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 I forget what it was. Females Welcome. Females Welcome. Females Welcome, which was, you know, way ahead of its time. Nobody was doing hip hop. And let's just be clear. You're going against yourself. They're not comparing you. You're probably beat, that second single is probably beating the whole building. But it's not beating all the gold. Well, everything. that's 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 the curse. That's of the curse. Of so hot. But you see, the, I would, but, hold on. Did you understand no, what I just no, said? No, 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 no. That's I the understand curse. it. Like the, 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 it's like it's like Ace Hood. Ace Hood. It's like Ace Hood. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. not gonna work. We know it. It's like that syndrome. Right. Yeah. Of, you know what I'm saying? Of Bugatti. You right. know what I'm saying? And records like that. Or whatever. Like right. you know, with females welcome. You know. The type of things that I had to deal with is like, you know, first the radio was like, man, we don't know how to play a record that has hip hop and EDM on it. You know what I'm saying? Right. They, they couldn't, that was the first, and I ain't gonna say it's an excuse, it's right. just the truth. Right. I, right. Whatever, I was like, all right, so I went and got like Juicy J. I went and got <laughs> Juicy J on the remix. I got right. Juicy J on the remix. I was like, well, let's do this one, because Juicy the man, he had bands that make him dance. Yeah. You know, this one, Juicy's making his reassurgence. Right. But this is great. Right. Literally, Juicy J's label, not Juicy, because he was, he's a great guy, he's amazing. I would have, he killed the verse, sent it to me, I met him at a show, I asked him, I said, hey bro, I would love to have you on my room, it was because this is what's happening, this is the situation that's going on with me. They won't play my record for my second single on the radio because it's too different for them. I would have, nobody had, nobody at the time had a record that was hip hop, with the EDM in the middle. Or whatever. Then Rocky came with Wild for the Night with Skrillex mm -hmm. and everybody accepted it for what it is. But I kicked that off. Can't nobody tell me different. Or whatever. Right. So I changed it up, got Juicy J on it. His label wouldn't clear the verse. Columbia. Because, I think it was Columbia. They wouldn't clear the verse because he had too many features on the radio. Mm. It happened like that. I, look, when yeah. they said that to me, I was like, yo, this right here is devised for you to either quit, be pissed off all the time, or to lose. Right. You know, and so I just had to find myself, man. You know, all those things were the things I was dealing with in 2013, all leading up to that whole New York situation you asked me about. Mm -hmm. You know, so dealing with just like weird dumb business. Shaka Zulu, what's going on, brother? Hey! Yo, yo, listen, we got. We got Trinidad James here on Dream Champs. Don't think of people. And he did say that there is a brother named Shaka that has something to do with his deal that he didn't feel like. You got the camera? We got the yeah. camera. All right, all right. And we didn't. He didn't. He felt like he should have gave us some props to. He felt, he felt like that it was it, it was it, uh, um, had something to do with making the deal. But maybe you never got your props. Right. But I was just in conversations. I do, a, you know, I do a lot of behind the scenes conversations. Right. Um, I, and I propped the record up because the record was going crazy in Atlanta. Right. I, if, if he's there, you gotta ask him who signed him. Right. He right here. He right here. He right here. Good. I'm gonna pass the phone. Good. 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 What's going on, my brother? Yeah, yeah. So look, this let's make like, some noise. So obviously, you know what I'm saying, we we working right now, right. or whatever. But just in general, and from this is what a story that I've heard that you know, you got you were putting in work on my record. I I did I didn't know right, and then they got the credit for the record, referring to um, you know the people who they said signed me. Who signed me? Karen Kwok, uh, Sean Pecos, uh, Chris Atlas, and Boo. 
you know, and um, the 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 what the word is what's being said is that you know you felt the type of way about it, not towards me, obviously, you know, but towards them. So I wanted to give you the flowers that you deserved, uh, just in general, because obviously, you know, that was out of my control. Yeah. God damn it. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. Yeah, that was that was at the time when I just anything that came out of Atlanta I was championing, but obviously it was a movement and I was just putting I was on I was on people next about making sure that they signed certain talent. And some stuff I wanted to go through my label and some stuff I you know, you know, whatever. You've always break out a deal, override you know, participation or whatever. But then it would just, you know, mysteriously you know, pop up in other people's deals or yeah. other people's situations. But, you know, but for Trinidad, I was just happy, and, and, and I definitely was co-signing the movement because it was off the chain when it was happening. God damn, make some noise for that, man. Shaka, man, thank you so much, my brother. We just like you love confirming Dream Champ history, man. We love this, man. All day, brother. Love you. I love, man. Love always, my bro. My bro, my bro, Shaka, motherfuckers, do the make up, No, no that, that's history right there. That Yo, listen, by the way, for people who don't know, all those names you just named, Ain't a lightweight on there. Nobody. Who, 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 who named you? Like, Nobody's a lightweight. I, I don't even think you named the A and R. You named. All I named like, like you that's know, the yeah, people. Yeah. That's how you serious this was. Yeah. You didn't even name A and R. This is this is me leaving the streets and walking into meetings with people like this and right. having to say yourself. You know when you seen Bobby Smurda dancing on the table right. and just them, them type of meetings. Right. Those, that was my meeting. I wasn't dancing on the table, right. but you know so those are people. Who, those are people right. I was meeting. Right. Big boys. You know what I'm saying right. to like let them know who I was, and I've never changed. The same right. person talking to you right now. It's the same person talking to them. Right. And it's like, let's do business. Right. So when we did business right. and things started happening. So the spin king when you can't. Go ahead. The things that started happening well, as as after I signed my deal, it just kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Mm -hmm. And I, like I said, I just never had no what, big homie. What was the worst like um like like it's like, damn, this this is like a fake industry. Because I, I had so many moments for me where I was just like, you know what, this is not the streets at all. Let me let me differentiate this. But what was the first? Or maybe not the worst. What was the first? Like you said T.I. So don't, don't go yeah, with the first. The I, I think T.I. was the first, but you know what I'm saying? Your perspective on right. it is a perspective that I've seen longer down in my career where right. it's just like, bro, if you're at the top, I'm going to come. Right. I would have, like, I watch right. a lot of movies. I'm a movie right. person. Right. Yeah. You know I'm what I'm saying? If person. you say that you are the best fighter in the world, like, mm -hmm. you know, what's uh, Afro Samurai? Ooh, you I know what I'm saying? That. Yeah, Afro yeah. Samurai yeah. is an anime. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Where he travels around, and the person that wears the number one band, you can only get it by, if you're number two, you can only get number one by killing number right. one. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Wow. So I didn't, you know, I didn't see that that's what it was in the moment because I'm looking at it as like, bro, I'm doing this bigger for Atlanta, for for us and period or whatever. Like I'm seeing it bigger. Why is you coming in here on this weird energy? Right. right. Like you know that's how I'm looking at it. I would have, but that's why. Mm -hmm. I would have, boom, you know, you number one, sir, I'm right. finna come and try and kill you. Right. You know what I'm saying? All right, bet. You didn't understand that. I didn't first. understand that at the time, yeah. so it came across offensive. But it's like video games. You play video games. That's why True. nobody really felt sorry for you. But you see, I'm a you. teacher, bro. Yeah, I'm, no, a te no, no, I'm a teacher. I'm a stylist. Really I live from, from the help world. Because y'all come people. from the video right, game right. era. And y'all ain't trying to share y'all ain't trying to share nobody's energy on the video game. You're trying to crush the motherfucker on the video game. Say, he's, you know? He came from a perspective yeah, of helping a people. Like, so yeah, you know understand people like, not trying to help. Oh yeah. nah, nigga. Oh, <laughs> exactly. nigga, nah, nigga. And so boom, I get that because you're gonna have people who identify with uh, that type of energy where it's like if you're number one, I'm in kill mode. Right. Oh, then, but you also gonna have people that identify as like, hey bro, like um if you look at um the, the Judah and the Black Messiah movie with Fred I Hampton. Seen it yet. It's incredible. It's an incredible it movie. Ryan Coogler, all those people involved in the movie. Right. Soundtrack is incredible. Hove and Nipsey yeah, got no, a crazy song. Crazy. You know, my boy Hit Boy got a crazy song in there. Right. Anyways, um, if you look at like Fred Hampton or mm. whatever, like, he was a powerful black brother. He arrived young, on the man, young. He was 21 when they yeah, killed him. You know crazy, what I'm saying? Bro. It's like, but he went around to the crowns and different gangs and the, the KKK and those people to like, look, let's work together because together, they can't fuck with us. Right. If it's just left up to one of us to do it, how are you gonna put all the responsibility on me? Nigga, I just came in this shit. Right. Common sense is my right. vibe, or whatever. So it's like, instead of trying to kill me off the map, or whatever, why don't you give me some game, or whatever, because at the end of the day, like that's why I love Young Thug. 
the stuff that I did for Young Thug in the beginning of his career, Wait, which is not much. What you did, what you did. I would ever like what when I when I had my platform to be the number one guy. You put Young in Thug on. City, you saying that? You saying you put Young Thug on? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> let me let me say <laughs> let me say my say. They got the same let me say my say. You know I mean? like, let me say my say. Let me say my say. When I had my chance. Oh. And doing my thing and my platform is that platform where whatever I say goes. Mm -hmm. When I went to the radio station, I whatever, I knew that one of the most talented people in our city was Young Thug. He had, dry, he had Danny Glover at the time. He was just coming off of three mixtapes. Um, came from nothing, one, two, three. Woo. I would have Danny Glover was the hardest song on earth. Nobody had a harder song. I don't care who you were. All right. Nobody had a harder song. That was the most genre bending approach to a trap song that anybody had ever took. And ain't nobody Danny more creative than, than Thug and Future. Ain't nobody more creative. All right. Wait, nobody. wait Thug had a song called Danny Glover? Tower called him. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Thug had a song called Danny Glover. Oh, I thought you I meant Danny have... Glover had the most. No, no, no. <laughs> Thug had a song called Danny from, Glover. From Lethal Weapon, you thought? <laughs> right? He had a He's dropping bars. <laughs> 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 yeah, I thought I thought Danny Glover was, was, was out here. It was out here. It's some bullshit. All right, guys. And so, uh -huh. boom, when I went to the radio station, you know, I made sure that I gave him his flowers. Right. And then... To my thug. Uh -huh. And when, you know, I've always been a person to like, you know what, I'm gonna do my own shows. I'm gonna put my money up and do my own shows. Uh -huh. So when I do my own shows and book out a venue, when I started doing my own things or whatever, boom, I reached out to people like him. Like, yo, bro, come perform in my thing. We gotta go back to how you do that. Just keep going, but right. that's another thing we gotta boom. talk about. Boom, so yeah, I did my own show, paid for it out my own money or whatever. I'm like, I reached out. I forgot how I reached out, but I got to him. I whatever, and I was like, hey, bro, come perform at our thing because you are the truth. I know my purpose. I know my journey. Right. I whatever, but you are the real goddamn truth. I whatever, come perform. So he came perform. Pee Wee Longway came perform. I would have, they're both incredible artists. He came perform, Danny Glover. Mm. For the people who got to enjoy that show, that was the most intimate, most amazing experience they will ever have with Young Thug. Mm. I would have, you know, and that is just, that's how I look at it. Right. It's like, look, if I know somebody is better than me at something, you come do this. Mm. Right. You come do it. You wore a dress too? Nah, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't because that was later on. The mm. the energy that I put out there is be whoever you want to be, mm. do whatever you want to do. Mm. I would have. That's what Prince did. Mm. That's what Andre 3000 right. did. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's what even Little Richard Michael, did. Even Michael. Right. That's what even Michael right. did. Right. I would have because at the end of the day, you're going to have your opinion. Right. Yeah, you know, my nails. You're going to have your opinion on it. His dress. You're going to have an opinion on it. Yeah, that's true. That you're you, so, you're entitled to do that. You would have sniffed coke with Rick James. If Rick James offered me some coke, yeah. I'm sniffing coke with Rick I mean, James. I mean, I'm sorry. Oh, what you mean? What you mean? I admire about you. You said, I am Molly. I admire about you. Somebody's thinking about Molly, you motherfucker. Yo, that love first it. line, when you said, I popped the Molly, I'm sweating. Woo! Come and then on. Dory said, I'm in. I come in late. <laughs> As, and, uh -huh. and we're talking now, you know, right, and you've yeah. always, Bray, from the first time we met, you know, I was just telling somebody this last night, I was talking to a little female, and she was asking, like, how did this come about what you did with Nori? I was like, you know, when I met, you know, you embraced me. Right, yeah. But just who it is. And, yeah. and I would have never thought uh. that your energy uh. was like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because once again, if we just listen to somebody's music. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm exactly. saying? That's it's not, like, yeah, I mean. It's just different. Exactly. It's, it's, it's an aura. It's an aura. You got to live in the aura. Like, me personally, my, um, like, Pharrell changed my life. I'm going to be honest. When Pharrell told me that he sent Michael Jackson all this music that he made for Michael Jackson, yeah. but Michael Jackson wanted the music that we made together. Yeah. And it made me realize that sometimes you got to watch what you say because you attract it, but sometimes you're going to just attract something that maybe you didn't want or maybe you didn't know, mm -hmm. but they're going to be just as important. And mm -hmm. I've always been that guy. Like, to be able to go to the South early. Like, I've been working with David Banner when he was in Crooked Letters. Oh, you see, you label mates. Mates. I was working with, with Juvenile before, yeah. Huh? Early, early. I was working, like, like, I was like. The first artist that Cash Money worked with in New York. I, was, was, I, yeah. I knew what time it was in the right. South. Because I had family in the South. So you're social, much. you're connected. And, and, yeah, like, and the thing is, all I know is, I got to ask it to y'all, and y'all got to ask it to me. We just same fucking thing. It's like, uh, right. sorry, the same fucking people. We're spin king guys. This, this, this nigga want to end it. Come on, what you doing, bro? You got a do rag on. Come on, let's go. Let's go, man. This is spin king. Motherfucking number one DJ in New York City right now. Ice down. Ice down.
What's going on, man? You good? All right, so um, and so it was easy for me to actually what people call different. I not I don't want to call it norm. That's that's what even with me and this brother like, um, you know, I was coming to the south early, and I knew when I came to Miami, I was gonna come back. And I was gonna freak with it. Me and him developed this relationship, and that's what it, that's really what it is. You know, the world is actually small. Mm-hmm. If you actually really get money and you're traveling, the world is mad small. small. Like it's mad small. Like you can go to Dusseldorf, Germany, and bump into somebody getting yeah. Chinese food. You know what I'm saying? I love the Dusseldorf you know because you're a spot. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Dusseldorf because this thing is spot. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> Yeah, you know, you know, do a club over there. So, Spin King, let's make some noise for Spin King right now. Yo. Spin King, we know your family own clubs. You guys own the Branson Vodka along with 50 Cent. Y'all got yeah. a collaboration together, you and 50 Cent, the Branson Vodka. Correct. Let's talk about it. So, the Branson um, and the Champagne, the Shimon and mm. that's where we're moving now. Um, I love how you said that shit bad, bad fast. I don't think you know how to pronounce it very correctly. Shimon de Roy. I don't know how to say it. I knew the way you pronounced it fast. We're going to call it, gonna call it, really gonna call it the King's Path, yeah. and that's what it is. But yeah, um, okay. the Branson, that's where we're moving now. And then, right. you know, with everything going on, it's not easy to be in the clubs and mm. move the liquor the way we are, but uh-huh. we're trying to make it work as best as we can. All right. So um, what's going on with New York clubs? Are we still shut down? We still shut down till 11 now. Indoor dining is back open till 11. But so 11. Jersey... You could, they letting the town choose. So, like, Elizabeth got closed at 12, but right. Republic 23 and Bergenfield closed at 2 in the morning. Wow. So, certain zones, they zoning it. Is what so they depending doing. when this comes out, we don't know what's going to wow. happen. Yeah. Right. Right. But that's what it is for right now. Shit, everybody can go to Moody, Atlanta. They wide the, the, the fuck open. Miami, Atlanta. we wide the fuck open. Nah, nah. They got 12. They got Texas, 12. too. Texas is yeah, open. Yeah, Texas. Really? I didn't know about Texas. Spin King, how, how many Trinidad records do you spent? How many what? Trinidad? Yeah, yeah, sure. Like four or five. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. And New York, we a tough crowd. It, listen, niggas from New York can't get New York love. So out of town, he was saying harder. that. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'm not it's, making it's this up. Like, <laughs> like, my nigga, like, bro, I just speak the truth. Like, I know niggas be like, it's the truth. My eyes just ran down the street, nigga. My eyes on Biscayne right now. Like, what? This is, I don't have to make this up, bro. It's like no, I literally heard it from the mouth yeah. of real New York niggas where they right. don't get the support right. that they feel they truly deserve. And I felt them niggas deserved it too. Right. Well, this is feel like eight you, years ago. We used to feel somebody like Pop Smoke getting all this love. But isn't it like a bit of sweet? Because Pop is getting the love. When I listen to, by the way, all my phones, when they ask me my address, I still put it in my, my hood address, 97-3057 Avenue. So everything is caught is called it to when I listen to my app, I get the New York commercials. I get the uh the the, the traffic for the Triborough Bridge. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, I live here for the last 14 years. But I listen to and it, Pop Smokes gets so much of this love. But isn't it kind of bittersweet? Because it's like, wouldn't it meant more if Pop was getting that love when he was alive? Of course. But he wasn't? He, he was in New York, he was getting that love, but like when not I was in, like, man. when not I did not, but when I did the, the club, well, the te- momentum, it would have happened to him alive. Yeah, it just happened to be he died too early. Yeah, 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 he was getting but it. But it just happened. It would have been a reaction. Travis would have got that. Travis yeah. got that there. Yeah, yeah. Travis yeah. at least, at least tra- right. the, the features with Travis and Quavo, and he dropped right. solid projects. Now, Papa would have had a shot. Are you drinking your Branson shot? Yeah, they're getting it right now. All right, they getting it. Come on, man. Y'all late with the Branson? Yo, 50, y'all, how you be late with the Branson, man? They have it. They have it. I'm blaming it on 50. Every time we go wrong, we blame it on 50, man. Right. Yeah, but when I was playing music in Texas, Who? I was seeing a reaction. I'm like, damn, they really fuck with bro. After he was gone? After he or? was gone. After he was gone. Okay. So when he was here, it wasn't out of town right. that big yet. Right. We, all right. God rest his soul. Last time we was here, before the pandemic shut down, it was me, 50, and Pop. Wow. We were in Miami. We did Cameo, we did Dream, and we did Booby Trap. And he's performing, but they not... I was welcome to the party early stage. They didn't really know it yet. Right. The only reason they rang in the strip club because all the New York niggas was in the strip club. Right, right. But Miami ain't really gravitate the way they gravitate to it now. Yeah, Miami's always like that, though. Yeah. Hey, hey relax, bro. Yeah, it's, still, no. it's still the South. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. we got to... The, yeah. the album that he dropped before he passed away, we had Element on it. The songs with Quavo mm-hmm. or whatever. Like, that. by the time that album... I think the momentum his was next going album, there. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Yeah. No, nah, he is legit right. amazing. Like... From from that situation that you brought up in 2013, right. it went down right. to where it is now. Right. That's all I'm saying. I was like, these artists deserve to right. get their 
music play. They're dope. And what, what, what's the artist right now from New York? Far and Fabio. Fabio. Fabio, huh? Um, CJ. CJ. CJ got a Little big song. TJ. Little TJ. Little TJ. Yeah. J.I. Ace, Ace Boogie. Ace Boogie. Ace, no, Ace Boogie damn near about to be an OG. Yo, you can't do that, nah, man. bro. Nah, I mean, you're you an OG saying that, so I don't even know what to say no more. That's how fashion is going, but I don't think we no, should speak up like that. No, he got a good that. seven Ace Boogie. Ace Boogie got a good oh, seven. Oh, he got black. Uh, what's, 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 what's Q? What's his homie? Um, QB. Don Q. Don Q. Don Q. Don Q. All right, who else? Who else? Put me to some, somebody I should know. Um, what's coming out of New York? Oh. And the J- thing is, J.I. J.I. the Prince. Mm. So what about Chef G? Chef G, Sleepy Hollow, those dudes is moving. Yeah. Wow, okay. Yeah. And they doing solid 22 numbers. 22 G's? 22 G's? 22 G's? Yo, listen. Oh, yeah. He's yeah. tough. Come on, 22 man. 22 G's is come tough. On, 22 man. G's is do, tough. Come on, man. I went in and he had, had, had me trapping two hours. You need to A&R. Yeah, yeah, he had me trapping two hours. You need to be A&R, man. Come on, man. Some shit. He had so much guns, I just kept watching. I was like, damn. I was like, when it was close to the table, I kept watching. I just kept watching. So he had me, had me a trap. I um, feel like New York tried to come together after they, nigga, because oh, you always see the meme. Right. Atlanta niggas stay together. Yeah, right. that, that thing. But right. New York, it's like they tried, but then they still be in low-key competition with each other. I don't right. know what it is. I can't I tell was you. explaining it to him earlier. I think that's just the competition of the business. Oh, you I don't think, think it's so. a New York a New York swag. I nah. think that New York has the biggest energy where it's yeah, like doggy dog. Yeah, the yeah. doggy dog energy. Yeah, but I think we're forced York. not to have that anymore. I oh, think, yeah, yeah. I think I, we're forced. I'm not saying to have from that everything that I kicked off from when I got right. my damn lashing for what I said. Right. And then gradually as you seen it, it was just like, look. You got your summer shot, Spade King? Come on, baby. Yeah. You can't be on j- j- Let's go. Let's go, baby. Mom, Motherfucker Spade King. Respect. Motherfucker Trinidad James. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, Smooth L2 out of Brooklyn. Mm, Come on. Yeah, it's, it's, it's at the end of the day, man. It's look. If you're doing good music, you deserve And I'm going to tell played. you, in two years, Atlanta's going to be worse than New York with the competition. You think so? Yeah. That's just not our energy. We have Southern hospitality at our core. Y'all don't. Y'all don't. That's the biggest difference. The way he said it, though. That's, <laughs> the, that's, that's, that's how niggas be getting offended. It's like, that's the, it's the truth. He don't have an answer back. I've been living in the South for 14 years. It's okay. But I'm going to tell you this. I've seen Atlanta's always been ahead of everybody in terms of their unity, man. Yeah, but I've also seen the footages. What are you talking about? Recently? Man, I can't say nothing other than that. I know you're right. talking about the I footages. <laughs> I think that. Oh, like I think how that, Mr. Lee said, like I think that those you, young dudes. This shit happens. I, right I think that's what you're, what you're saying. You're saying is correct, but you're saying amongst the but OGs. But I, I don't think that's the music. I think that's. I don't other think these youngers respect that same code. These youngers just move by different code. They do move. But at the same time, I like Lil Baby. I like Lil Baby. Lil Baby show love. He done did songs with Ti. Right. And this songs with all these older guys and, right. and the young no, guys. No, one thing I'll give Atlanta credit, the younger artists, they always pay homage to Jeezy, Gucci, and right. um, T.I. Like they Chains show love too. to the older niggas. Right. New York niggas not really going to tell you that. Right. Uh, <laughs> they not going like, to tell you that, dog. Do young New York artists show love to older New York niggas? Funk just started like making so. niggas do songs with him or do songs doing with him. Like he got a song hey, man, with Vaughn. He got a song with Vaughn. This question. I, I'm <laughs> just saying. I'm, look, I'm a DJ too. I can yeah. tell you. <laughs> <laughs> do young. That's what, I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? It's like uh-huh. that's that's where it turns back into. Hey, what's the like question again? Wait, what? Do young New York artists? Sure. Right. I don't see it as you know much as crazy? I thought you would. You know what's crazy? Um, I think I said this when. Uh, Lords of the Underground is there. Uh, it be important for the older dudes to keep looking good. I don't think that's the... I don't know. I think that the old, the middle class, and the young are in the same rap race. It's one chart. And with yeah. Urban Radio, right? Urban Radio is one chart, yeah. right? And we're talking about industry. In industry. industry. We're talking about industry. No, right. because it, we, we misconstrued... Culture and industry. Oh, yeah, industry. Even though there's a, there's a crossroad, yeah, yeah, yeah. but there's two different things. Yeah, so, so you uh, have, to use for example, you have T.I., Wale, and uh, Chef G all competing for the same spot on Urban Radio. Right. Which is like different ju- age range. You know, T.I. Uh, is his age, Wale is his age, Chef G is his age. Because it's only one chart. It's only one chart. You can, it's not like a, oh, this is the 20 and under chart. This I, is the 40 and under. I understand what you're saying. It has one chart. In its totality. But overall, 
I don't think we, we're competing for the same crowd. But there's, there's different platforms, though, because there's an artist that's big on TikTok, but he's not big on Instagram Amen. or Spotify. Right. Amen. Right. 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 Radio isn't as powerful as it Radio's was. Radio's last. Right. I'm going to be honest right. with you. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 club. no, no, no. Yeah. We hear it in the club, and the record will break. Like, yo, this is it. Then it gets on radio after it. It's old to us now. Facts. Right. Because right. this shit, like, they're playing, they adding songs now from pop. Right. On radio, it's like, bro, that's two years old. How is that being right. added now? It's because they run out of songs. They just trying to keep him on the radio. Now, they shut you at 50 down with the Aces Club. What happened? What, what club? Police. I thought you had a club together, you, 50, and Aces. And then I heard the police said, it's not going to happen. No, no, no. My brother started at Lust in yeah. Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah, it was Lust in Brooklyn. It was Lust in Brooklyn, yeah. Aces. Okay. Lust in Brooklyn. We had what a club. They, the cops kept doing 911 calls. Come to find out, the cops were running... Uh, Drugs and gambling around the corner in a hotel. So the cop, they were trying to put that tension on us. It was them. They got raided. They all got fired. It was a whole bunch of shit. Oh, I went too deep. I went too deep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. We, we, don't need, we don't need that shit. 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 But it was just crazy. Like, they was always attacking us, bro. But wow. that was a place that I felt was like a SOBs. Mm. No, we'll Lust has we'll 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 one of the best quality we'll women. Lust has <laughs> one of the best quality women. I'm saying because a lot of artists, a lot of artists came out of there. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest. Boogie, Fetty, Designer, mm. a lot of Young and May, Bobby Smurd when he first came came out. Wow, they all yeah, came that's a, that's a, a list. Yeah, yeah. Those, it was that moment where everything like when Hot Nigga came on that first time in that club room, seeing that reaction it was just, wow. it was different. Incredible song. Wow. It was different in a strip club. It was kind of like a showcase. Was everybody throwing their hats? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I, I always have to think about. I throw my hat in the air. Like, fuck it. Oh, shit's raining. <laughs> fuck my shit up, man. <laughs> He's going to come home soon. Rowdy, Rowdy home. Yeah, Rowdy's home. You knew we Rowdy and um, I never, I never got to meet both of them, but huge fans. I know that if I meet them, I'll just give them flowers. Right. You know, I don't need to be, we don't need to be friends or right, anything. Right, right. Or whatever, but like, I just respect that, like, they respect each other. I love people who work in unity. Mm -hmm. I love people that stay down. You know what I'm saying? When um, I don't know how true it is, but when they said that Bobby took more time so that Roddy, you know what I'm saying? Like, when, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, he, he could have got out earlier, but he took more time because he wasn't going to snitch on his man. Right. To me, that's things that just don't happen that often yeah. in, in life. Not right. even You said that on your first record. You said, you st yeah, I don't fuck with no snitches. That's just not my thing. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I, I live by the moral code that every man should live by. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? It might not look the same as the right. way that you do it, but right. I still live by the same yeah, formula. Right. I would have, and that I, I understand that. That code should be universal. Right. It should be, but it's right. not. And right. we know that. Right. Simple as that. What made you take that approach? Because you say, like, you know, you was, you was styling people. You was, you know, working at a, a boutique mm -hmm. store. What we'll make you still take that same moral code as a person that is, you know, sleeping crack 24-7? I mean, I think that at the end of the day, man, if I don't have me, the man, together, when I look in the mirror in the morning, then I'll never have me, the artist, together. That was like the, the, the big defining moment for me. That was hard. Or whatever, it was like, look, if I can't figure out who I am and who I love to be, then whatever you think of Trinidad James, that shit's going to die real soon. Right. Or whatever, because I have to know who I am as the man, because the man was the man before y'all labeled me the man right. as Trinidad James. Trinidad James is a title. Right. But I was, like I said, I had a great high school career. I was right. lit in the streets right. before I came into the game. Right. I, I love the streets. Right. That I, I Because I know how to do business in them. Right. You know what I'm saying? I love that. I hate that we're in the pandemic. I hate that. But it got me back to my old hustles. It got me back to my fashion. It got me back to cannabis. And now it's legal. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Be legal like a mother. You know what I'm saying? It, yeah. it, it's a whole different experience than when I was trying to make it out here right. in the streets as an immigrant with no green card. Uh, Completely different. Get yourself another shot, both of y'all. You know what I'm saying? Separate cup, separate cup, separate cup. <laughs> oh, <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. He's a whoa. This, oh, you know, this guy oh, right here, yeah, man. man. They want to share a cup? No, no, I mean separate cup from your regular drink. <laughs> oh. Yeah, because I want you to still drink, but you have this is a shot cup. You know what I mean? That we over here, baby. Let's do it, man. Cheers, you know. Let's John Luke, G, God damn it. Ah, Luke, man. Hi, yeah, yeah. Jesus, that one hit hard. So, <laughs> what's next? So, for me, um, I'm on my business stuff. You know, I'm really crazy on black owned businesses. I brought black owned food. Well, you get talk, talk about talk about the restaurant. Um, Talk to me. Still on Complex? Still with the so sticky? So Complex, we got, we're in season nine. We didn't need 100 plus episodes. Wow. A full size The same, run. What you did a joint with Revolt too, right? So Revolt, I was doing the dad talks where I do an affirmation every dope. day. That was incredible, right? Yeah. 
That was incredible. What? I love that revolt. I love when people give a fuck about positive stuff. What? Because in reality, the industry don't give a fuck about positive mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah, no, nah, that was They want to make money. negative money. Negative, negative yeah. money? That was amazing. Is the, me the best money on earth. Right. I and that's negative, what you're me. Like that. medium negative. No, no, fuck I feel you. I'm negative. <laughs> like, like shit is, it's not like nah. hurting nobody. Now, but you, it's still like, you, want, you want control negative. When yeah. you control your yeah. negative. Yeah. When you control your negative. That's, that's different. different. That's different. I still want to talk about taking Molly's because I think Molly's is a great thing. <laughs> yeah, but, but you talk Molly's about it. But you talk about it. <laughs> like, like, yeah, the yeah. other man don't talk about you. You talk about you taking Molly's. The other man talk about you. It. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was, uh, talking <laughs> shit. You got to relax. I talk crazy. I talk to nobody. To me. Listen, man, you correct me if I'm wrong. I think Molly's fucking fantastic. No, nah, Molly's incredible. I haven't done it in a long time. Does it's it... not something you do every day. It's not like weed. Yeah, yeah no, it's well, not like weed. Well, I mean, weed. to the person who does it every day, power to you. No, no you power know, to you. You got to relax. You're different. <laughs> you you're different. Relax, some people are different. Yeah, yeah. There's people that do coke every day. Yeah, they to also me, you shouldn't, relax. You shouldn't yeah, do coke every relax. day, yeah, but yeah. there's people that do it in 10 days. Something goes wrong. You hit coke before? Give us a cocaine story, Trinidad. So I can't give you a cocaine story. I actually don't do cocaine. Okay. That's not my thing. Don't do it or have never done it? Never done cocaine. I feel actually. Did we take a shot? Let's take another shot, Rob. Of cocaine? No, no, no. Can you pour out cocaine right now on the stage? We have cocaine right here. You know how many views that gets cocaine gets? Uh, uh, we should get a little cocaine podcast. Oh, shit. I got it right here. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. You know, I, you, everyone got a shot? Yeah. All right, cool. Salud. 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 Bang, 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 cocaine bang. is the best drink champ stories in the world. I know I trained up on some big ass shots, bro. But take, but take it where you was at? Where you was at? So, you know, right now, where I'm at with it is we're in a... We're in a pandemic. Uh -huh. You know, for anybody looking at this, whether it's 20 years from now, two years from now, uh -huh. we're in a pandemic. And the only people that's going to make money, the only people that's going to be happy with themselves is people that's adapting to what's going on. Mm. You can't do no shows right now. I, just, uh -huh. I dropped an album, and my album is incredible that I dropped. Mm. I dropped it in August of 2020. Uh -huh. It's called Black Filter. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? For people who don't know, go right. check it out. Mm. I know that it's fire. I've seen it. I've seen the videos. You know, but... You know, I, I did 12 videos out of 13 songs. Yeah, right. You know how hard it is to yeah, do 12 yeah. videos right. independently out your own pocket. Right. It is what it is. Right. I would never, but I put that work in. Right. But at the end of the day, we can't do no shows. And you know, uh -huh. the shows is what make us lit. Uh -huh. The shows are what really bring us in that back end, uh -huh. that bring us in that front end, that really bring us in the money to keep going. Right. I would never, so at the end of the day, we're in a pandemic. I know I just had to figure it out. Like, I got to adjust. Because once again, I still don't have no big homies. Mm. Mm. I'm still, I'm my big homie. Right. I'm everybody else's big homie. That's hard. It's the truth. You got something with Metal World Peace? You that's my big, that's yeah. my big homie. Okay, all right, cool. Yeah, that's so my big homie. What y'all got together? So he he does his own, he's doing his own basketball league, and I'm helping him with it. Mm, you know, um, he's a very, very smart brother. You know, his basketball league is to help everybody. Because, you know, the NBA is the NBA, right? Uh -huh. But just because you don't make it to the NBA, that don't mean that you're not a good basketball player. Right. Uh -huh. That don't mean that you can't make money from playing basketball uh -huh. either. So he's building a league to bring that concept to players who, you know, you're the truth, but you might not can't get into the league and oh. still be able to find runs to play in, to get scouts to come out and look at you. We also got that league, too. We just had a smoke champs. <laughs> All of the out of shape. With Tori. Yo, let's, yeah, let's, oh, did you see Tori? Look at you. Oh, you you said, right, and you yo, posted it, too. No. Look, you did no, 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 is that guy. After the shade uh, room. After uh, the shade yo. room. And academics, I had no choice. But listen, <laughs> I had no we, choice. Listen, listen. Oh, we invited God. Tory Lanez. By the way, we, was, we also interviewed Tory Lanez when he first had the surgery. Oh, when nice. he first had his y'all of me. When he got it right. <laughs> Did he admit it? I don't, I don't remember. Yeah, he admitted it. He was proud I mean, of it. I, I feel that he people was like Tori is like, bro, that's the, you, you got to understand for it. And we're men here talking, right. you yes. know? And look and at my shit. No gray hairs. My barber Come hate on. on me every time he cut me. It's a great cut. Don't disrespect. Yeah, no gray hairs. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, so, when you're totally losing hair, hair. For the, when you're losing <laughs> hair or like your hairline is not right or when you're not, right. as a man that fucks with your ego, right. yeah. it does. Yeah. It don't matter what the type of man you are. So the fact that he was able to find what helps him be a better man, once again, if you the man are right, you the artist would be great. Yeah, and he like 29. Like, he under 30, so like, it might be fucking with his oh, ego. Oh, that's gonna fuck with you. His, his George it's Jefferson. It, that's just really, human. Like, this he had a Wu Tang sign out there. Like, his shit, his shit out there. That's what the fuck you're doing. He's different. I've seen the Wu Tang sign. He's different. He's different. He is different. Yo, that's my homie. And you call your homie after. This nigga is different. It's a homie, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I look. And 
this was crazy. Anybody who was there, he got to take his hat off. To anybody say this. who was there <laughs> could co-sign my story. By the way, we didn't think it was gonna come. We had a whole weekend plan: Smoke Chance Week and Smoke Chance Podcast. So Friday we had handball. Saturday handball, we, handball, handball, real handball. Are you really good at handball? I ain't gonna lie. That's I don't your know thing. That two K twenty one posted. Yeah, yeah, that's that's your your thing. Thing. Yeah. Yo, this nigga right. just sold this shit. All right, listen. All right. Okay. So, look, I'm going to get back to that because somebody right. going to try to steal my idea. So, listen. <laughs> so, on Friday, we had handball. Saturday, we had basketball. Now, I was injured on Friday. Somebody injured me. Okay. Because they knew what I was going to do on Saturday. Saturday. I feel like it was him. Right. <laughs> even though he was nowhere around me. I, I, he didn't I, even I, come I, I, I thought it was mental. Nah, he didn't come Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that. So it's Saturday, and then, like, mind you, I'm like, you know, I'm not thinking Tory gonna come through, but I think he's gonna come through. I know, you know, with everything that's going on, he knows the camera's gonna be did on. He did the Cobaina too. I don't know what you mean right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, yo, he's like, like, you know, the camera's gonna be around. So I'm like, all right, you know, this the home. Right, he pulls up. Give him the church. I don't really realize what's going on. He jumped on the court, and everybody like, "Yo, like, yo!" <laughs> they playing on his hair like that? Yeah, I didn't know what they were talking about. And I'm like, "All right, cool." You know, I just thought it was a different dude. You know, y'all niggas is they artistic. It's endearing. They yeah. artistic. Some of these guys are artistic. <laughs> So I didn't yeah, know. His artistic hit different. His artistic hit different. Yeah, it's borderline artistic what he's saying. Oh, I'm just saying, I'm being real. He's in borderline. borderline. And like 20 minutes later, as we there, the shade room posted it. As we're there, and I looked, and the comments just like, Look at this George Jefferson. And I was like, oh, they disrespectful. You don't remember George Jefferson. Oh, come but on. Like, you know we know. But Tory gets the jokes. He has it. It happens. I mean, man. he knew. It yeah, he don't give a damn. He knew. Club, He's the type man. of person to do something like that on purpose. Yeah, I think he did it on purpose. Because he is in control of his negative, to go yes. back to what you're saying. Mm. Right. He's right. in control of his negative. You ever felt a time you wasn't in control of your negative? Yes, you ever sir. Time where, oh, like, in the a, beginning. Like a people were like, you felt like they were the, making the fun New of you? The New York situation, I wasn't in control of my negative. I wasn't. I w- if I knew better, right. I would know to like, no, 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 no. Mm. I'm finna pull up on somebody in New York. Mm. I actually stopped coming to New York for two years because I felt like prior to that, the whole 2012, 2013, yo, New York was fucking with me right. hard. We had gold I did Santa. on next. I did Santos. Gold all on Santos our Playhouse. Watch. Shout yeah. out to my girl Lola. Yeah, Santos. That's the like the, the, Sa- the Sa- acoustic <laughs> place. Yeah. You get it. You get it. You get it. Santos was crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Or whatever. Me, ASAP Crew. We shut that place down. That I was there for that. Santos right. was great. So right. you know. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't make it. Exactly. Like, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't make this up. I don't have to make right. things up. Right. I don't live in that world of like yeah. exaggeration. Go ahead. I don't. Go ahead. You know. So you know, as as far as not being in control. Of my negative, if like I said, if I had a, a big homie right. or somebody at the time right. to be like, hey, bro, look, you said what you said, you meant what you said, right. but you didn't deliver the right way. Right. Go clean that up. Right. Go make that right. right. Or whatever. I said, man, I just felt like New York betrayed me. No. I just left New York alone for two years, and I ain't come mm. for two years mm. because I, I people who I was cool with and like showed. You when know, I give you my genuine, yeah, I was here for that show. No, like, tomorrow. no, no. Uh, the New York comments. Nah. So, I, no, I you know, he, he's talking about it. In 2013, in December, I did a show um, for Converse, right? right. And um, coming into the show, I felt the type of way towards the business that was going on in my life. Mm-hmm. Right. And so every time I do a song, between my intermission, I just start talking. Talking or whatever. Everything I was saying was true from the standpoint of I felt that New York needed to support New York artists more. You said this on the mic? Yes. Uh-huh. But I wasn't the person to say that. Right. I wasn't the person that's supposed to have said that. At the t- I've never lived Why in New York. Why you felt you weren't the person because you're not from New York? No, that's what people said. That's I the way it was perceived. I, that's yeah. what people said. Yeah. For me, I'm saying the truth because right. I only know the truth. If, right. if I'm on tour with all the ASAP crew and all these people and... Right. and Everybody's complaining about how New York radio right. and New York DJs treat them. Right. I'm like, damn, these dudes hard as fuck. These right. dudes are dope. We just did a whole tour together. I know these brothers are dope. Right. I know that they're amazing. Right. I love their show. They're great. Y'all need to get better. 
And the person that you always challenge if you want to make a change is the people. It's right. power to the people. It's the consumer. Right. The consumer is who always going to make the biggest difference. If the label counts you out, Those if you look shot, at... If, if, cup. Sure. You're if you look at, if you look at Shaggy, shoot. Shaggy, if you look at the story of Shaggy and it wasn't it me, wasn't what me. is the story of Shaggy? Cognac. Oh no, fuck that. I can't do that. That's pretty <laughs> sick shit, man. No, no, I know. Great, great story, but I can't do that. Right? <laughs> great story. <laughs> I'm going to use that. All right? That's got to that to me. Yeah, cheers. Salud. Salud. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to take a shot. Hold on. It's not going to be nice. Oh, what you doing? Shot. What you drinking there? I'm drinking that cocaine. Look at you. Is it with Colombia? What is that? Is it with Colombia? Well, I went to Cartagena and I was living in Colombia. I've been to all Colombia and this is going to happen. Jeez. This is going to happen. Just a little bit. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, change, change, change. Not gonna, it's not going to fare well for me. Uh, oh. uh, oh. Ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, wow. Y'all good? Y'all good? good? No, good. Bomb good. everybody's good. last That's my last shot, guys. Yeah. So, you know, it's one of those type of things <sighs> where I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson. But Point I can't help but to, I felt that I, and I looked at my power maybe the wrong way. But I looked at the power that I had with all go everything. Right. That I need to speak up for them. Right. Right. And obviously I didn't think it was gonna be taken the way it was taken. But when I look back at it, Let me my energy wasn't right. Let me ask you something, right? <laughs> it's been a time, right, when I had the flag and I gave people the flag, and then I realized when they had the flag, they didn't even want to look at me. You ever went through that? Like meaning like when you had the, the biggest stage in your life, mm -hmm. you gave somebody or you shared that stage with somebody. Has there ever been a time when that same person had that time in their life? Well, I love that it, question because they it ties it back to what we were talking about with Young Thug. That's yeah. why I love Young Thug. Okay. And if I wasn't to make it to tomorrow, right. Young Thug got to know right. that he the realest person that I ever dealt with. Because remember I showed him that love like I told you about. He when, reciprocated it. Boom. When it was a time when um, I came to his show in L.A., maybe three years ago, something like that, two years ago, I don't know. And, um, you know, I'm there. I'm support. I love him. He's the greatest. He's one of the best artists on the earth right. to me. Right. You know, and, you know, I'm supporting him. as love. I would ever, like, I bought him stuff for his birthday. Right. I would ever, I love his sisters. Mm -hmm. I would ever, I, I, I love the family. I love his mom. I'm cool with his mama. Wow. You know what I'm saying? It's love. Like, I, I got the utmost respect. Duke, Gunner, all these people. Like, I've known Gunner before. Gunner was part of YSL. I knew him when he was coming up and trying to figure it out. You uh, know what I'm saying? Like, uh, coming at Fly Kicks, uh, which was a dope store in Atlanta off Peter Street. Uh, I would have, I've seen these people come up. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So, I, like, when they make it, uh, to me, that gets me fucking excited. Uh, because that's what I care about. Uh, I don't care about being the best. Uh, Nigga, I'm an immigrant. Not from America. So Young Thug showed you love back? So, boom, he's doing his show. Uh, or whatever. Like, I'm there for a long time. You know, when you come to somebody's show, you might come too early. Uh, and uh, he don't go on till he's ready to go on. Uh, and you done being there. You've seen every opening and act. Uh -huh. Or whatever yeah, he, he comes gets on. He me every time I go. Right? Yeah, boom, he's I the don't... earliest nigga in the building. <laughs> I've yeah. seen everybody before. He be in there when they clean it up. It's a, secu <laughs> it's a security uh, yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Security. He like right? it. He want to have his gun in his eye. He's a bad nigga. But he's a gangster. Yeah, yeah. So, boom. You know, he's performing. I whatever. I was like, you know what? I've seen. Because I've been to numerous Young Thug shows. I've seen the show. You know, boom, I appreciate it. I got things to do. I leave out. I leave the show. Uh, I run and get ready to leave. Somebody run out. Like, hey, bro, Young Thug wants you to come perform. Uh, or whatever. So we got to run back in. Uh, boom, 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 boom. And he bring me out to perform in front of his L.A. crowd, wow. which at the time was a big deal, uh, according to what project Still it was. Still is a big deal. It was, no, no, it was amazing. Right. You know, and it's just things like that. To me, that's the realest shit ever happened. That's the that's like uh, let me that's ask real you a question because we gotta get out of here soon. But is that is that one of the only people that you show love, or is there other people that showed you love that after a time? Because like, listen, and break it down. Oh, let me stop. Let me not even go there. Go ahead, go there, man. Nah, but like, you done went there already, my nigga. There's a lot of people in Reggae Throne I show love to that when they had that same chance, they didn't show a love to me back. There's a lot of people in rap that did the same chance. Right. I mean, it's, it's, I can't say in rap because rap I circled around too many times. Right. But I would need to ask you, is there anybody that like you show super love to and then you was disappointed to when it came time for you to receive that uh, reciprocal love, that your 40 acres and your mule, for, 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 for lack of a better term? Well... I don't look at it as a 40 acres and a mule. I look at it as a mutual respect. 
you know, to be reciprocated. Like right now, can you get Jeezy on the record? No. Oh, T.I., no. Damn. Are you sure? Two chains, Are no. you sure? Have you asked? I haven't asked. But you don't know. Don't say no for sure. I like, I like EFS's attitude. Because maybe they would. I you, love that energy. I 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 love that energy. Look, you know like, what? I don't want you to just shut it out because no, it's not money. shut out. It's but not shut out. Do you feel out. that you don't want to be told no, so you'd rather just not ask? I don't. I don't like the. I don't like the answer no. Right. Right. Because if I say yes to you, it's so one hundred and ten thousand percent, and it's not just I'm saying yes to. I'm nobody's right. yes man. Right. That if I ask you for something, I'm not trying to come up off of your fame or whoever right. you are. Right. I'm right. literally. I love music. Right. I'm an incredible producer right. of records. That's why I do really good in the writing world. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? I got a number one last year with Queen Nigel yeah. right. writing right. records. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, I love music. I love making people be better. Right. Like I said, my background is being a stylist. What is yeah. a stylist's job? To make you feel better right. about right. yourself going right. out. Right. So that's my background. Mm. So if I ask you to do something, dog, I'm a grown ass man. I'm asking you something because it's going to help all of us. Has there somebody you asked to do something and they didn't do it? So to answer, I'm sorry, to answer your question, yeah. I feel like August I've seen it off top. Off top, I'm going to go there. Because I felt that, and I understand why it went that way. And this is before the entanglement? <laughs> this is before the entanglement. <laughs> entanglement. This is before the entanglement. He's like, before and after. This is before the entanglement. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, if we're going to if we gonna go there, Let's go we got to go there. Let's there. go there. You know what I'm saying? What August I've seen it. You was there for August Alcina. I feel like I was. And what happened? What and you when it was time to come back around, I felt that the industry captivated them and it really hurt that brother. And that, uh, that affected the way that he treated somebody who was actually genuine with him because he couldn't trust nobody. But you say this is after because you, after, all right, there's Wait, something, there's something called like the poo-poo juice, right? Yeah. Like after you get dropped, and anybody get dropped from the label, you got the poo-poo juice. Right. You, it, was it the time you had the poo-poo juice? Because that's like 2014. The poo-poo juice? Yeah. No, I, I understand where he's coming from. Yeah. So let me give you an you update. The coolies. You got the coolies. No, no, no. no. Coolies. So let me give you an update on the poo-poo juice. That's the same thing. No, let me give you an update on the poo-poo juice. <laughs> poo-poo juice. So poo-poo juice is popular. So, right now. Boom, I tweeted to, I tweeted to people or whatever that boom, boom, boom. People think Def Jam never dropped me. They never drop me. Wow. That's a fact. I would love a nigga that Def Jam to tell me that they dropped me. Ooh. I would love a nigga Def Jam to tell me they dropped Talk me. that talk! Yeah. I would love it. Talk that talk! The actual reality of the situation is that I requested from 2015, and it took two years for them to be like, all right, we'll let you go. I requested to be let go of the label, to be let off the label, because nobody was there for me. Right. Period. Nobody has never been there for me. I had to be there for me which I'm not complaining about because right now, in this very moment, I'm there for me. Mm. And that's what it's about. Like Kanye ain't never help out nobody. Kanye reached out. Kanye okay. reached out. I remember Kanye reached out. I feel like Kanye do. will feel Kanye you. reached out or whatever, but I just feel that I, you see, think of people, you see, think about it, it's like, bro, I respect you. you you're Nori yeah. to me. I respect you. Right. I but if you. the way that you approach me is not respectable, then I ain't gonna deal with you, bro. What you mean? So Kanye came to you? So Kanye, Kanye reached out through his mans, who was my mans, to do John something Monopoly? for me. My mans, okay. right? And the way that he reached out for me to do something for him, I felt like he didn't care about me. I, I got tired and I already went through this with T.I. I went through this with Jeezy, where I felt like these OGs, cause to me, I'm from Atlanta, bro. These are OGs to me. You're not a hot rapper to me. You're an OG who's a legend. You up there with, you know, who, how I look at Andre, how I look at Big Boy, how I look at CeeLo, mm. you know, how I look at Dungeon Family. Mm. So it's like, bro, these people always gave me knowledge. Mm. Like the first thing I asked Andre, he did say no to it, but he still gave me knowledge that made me a better artist. Wow. You see what I'm saying? Right. And I couldn't get that from them. And maybe that's not how they parent. Right. You know, maybe that's not how their parenting skills go. Right. Or whatever. I, you know what I'm saying? But I'm still a young brother trying to figure it out. Right. And they knew that. Right. They knew that. If you Who meet me... Who we talking me, about again? Huh? Who we talking about? We talking about all those people. We talking about the the T.I.s, the Jeezys, uh-huh. these people uh, that for are from my past. We're, great, we're realize, in a great place now. For us in New York, we realize, we think that They're not from New York. Get, no, no, no. Us in New York, we look at y'all like y'all all get along. 
everybody, new artists, you got the biggest burger, uh, record in the world, they all co signing you. You're talking about Atlanta. So Atlanta, that's, that's, that's what we did. That's Spin, how we did. Spin King said that. He said it earlier where it's the meme where it's like Atlanta artists. Everybody yeah. get together. I'm, yeah. I'm going to tell you this, and if I'm wrong, you know, you I, like I, I, I live for it. I live for it. Girls. I live for Hang it. Out. Or whatever. That's not true, bro. Right. Yeah, the Everybody, whole thing it's not true for any city. That's that bullshit. It's not true That's really bullshit. That's really that's bullshit. That's how we look at it from New York, though. That's, that's how we do it. No, 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 no. It's not true for any city. The reason why the meme was made is because that's how everyone see it. But if you really know... People are like, look at the niggas over there. They go over there Because you see the remix and it's like fatherland of niggas on one song. It's opportunity. Opportunity and support is two different things, my brothers. Opportunity and support is two different things. Maybe Atlanta's approach is different. My nigga, you got to come do my remix. Atlanta's approach is different. If you, If I can make you more lit... Then you have to do my remix, my Ooh, nigga. Right. Five Respectfully. Right. It's the approach. It's the approach. Respectfully. I need one more glass, please, and I'm out of here. Respectfully. You know, know what I'm saying? Oh, and, that, and that's just what it is. And I got another shot. That's, that's just it. It is what it is. is. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Straight up. But, I mean, you know, where we at now, you know, those are all lessons. You know, we're talking about the past. And I'm a person, to be honest with you, Nori, yeah. I don't live in the past. I don't think about the past. So my success, all the plaques that I got in my crib and all that, I don't even, they're not even put up on the wall because I don't live for that. I live yeah, for what honest. can I do new? You know what I'm, I'm saying? Like where I'm at now. I want you to put them plaques up. Why? Put them plaques up because you got to know how, feel you, how dope it feels. Like when I walk around my crib, Excuse me, I don't even have them inside my crib. I have them on my, what's that shit called? The foyer. I don't know, I have one. You know, when <laughs> I have a, I, I a foyer, right? You know, right there, it's just a little, like, all right, boom. Right. But it just makes me feel good because, I don't know, like, I just like it. I like it. You got to understand that you have confidence in shit. Sometimes you put your accomplishments to the side because you're always thinking about the future, but right. never think about what you did to get here. True. Never not, never dis, never downplay the shit you got to get here. Right. Because yeah, reflect you just, on the journey so that you can see the future. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. The, the journey is super important to me. And, and yes. it lives in my mind and I know it. But like I said, I really, like I said, right now with all these people, in my personal opinion, like we were just all together not too long ago, referring to like the two chains. And, you know, I see Jeezy from time to time. Like, my respect for these people, it don't change. But right. how they treated me, I just didn't appreciate it at the time because I didn't understand what was going no, you on. You were the rookie in the game, bro. I, and I was. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, when you're a rookie, you're going to make rookie, rookie mistakes. Right. You, you, you was, you was um, what's it, high school? Um, freshman? Bang. You was the freshman in high school. Bang. You, you were the chanchi in high yeah, school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Salud. Yes. But listen, we're going to salute y'all careers. This you know, is Drake, motherfucker. Ch- hey! So, ah, I just want to say that, man. I, I think, I think you misunderstood the energy, or maybe I could be wrong, but I, hopefully I, I am right. I think you misunderstood the energy, and I think that uh, it was exactly how you interpreted. You went back to high school, and there were certain people, and you know what? You was a freshman at that time, so maybe you wasn't as cool. As a freshman, as you was as a in senior. college, yeah, yeah. Oh, high school though was that yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. College is now you're a freshman, and, and this and, senior is trying to prove and I think that I what, start. And I think that's what it was because I think your city is an actual great city. It was one of the uh, very first cities I came to, and it just it was just black excellence, like black no, excellence. It is. No, it definitely is. Don't get it mistaken. It yeah. definitely is, and every no matter if you're doing music that, you know, helps us push forward. What I told you, what's the top of my pyramid? Hip-hop, rap. Mm. So whatever it takes to get us there, from the, the Playboy Cardis, the Lil Yachty's, right. the, who, the McConas, everybody's important. Right. Even if you got one hit, mm. that helps us stay number one. Uh, really and, that's, and that's what matters to me. Right. So, shit. you know, that's why I got into writing music now. Who uh, you writing for? The- I write for people. I only work with I only work for I only work with women. Women, okay. You know what I'm saying? Because right. men, you know, we have this weird ego. Mm-hmm. You know, and I don't live with ego. My mm-hmm. ego is at the door. Right now at this mm-hmm. table, right. my ego is at the door behind me. Right. Because I don't have to have an ego in order to have a good conversation with you. Mm-hmm. That don't prove a point to me. Every person that has ever came in contact with me, what you gonna say about me? Right. I'm always me, 100 percent That might offend you when you're away from me, but in my face. 
I hear, I'm here to respect you. I just want that respect reciprocated. Absolutely. And we know how that works as grown ass men. You know, and so like, you know, all in all, to end out, because I know we're about to close out, yeah. you, know, you know, I appreciate every play that I'm able to make. Right. You know, and I appreciate you bringing me on Drink Champs. On. I appreciate you having... We appreciate you, Drink you know, Champs. I appreciate all of us, you all of us. Yeah. opening and showing us this side of you. Yeah, yeah, no, no. You know, it. we truly appreciate that because right. it's like, don't limit yourself. Yeah. I'm never going to limit myself. I'm going to always be doing something where it's like, damn, there he go. Right. Or whatever, because it's bigger than just doing music. I love music right. because music is one of the most incredible things that you could ever get a talent in. And still, it's just a vehicle. It's, a not, it's not a house. Exactly. It's supposed to take music to an, another. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And, and if it's the last thing I got, I must say before I get out of here is make sure that you support black-owned businesses. Let's talk about... Please. You know what I'm saying? Like, shout out oh, to... Oh, yeah. What's, what's, the, what's the food you brought? So, you know, I, I did catering. I brought catering to Drink Champs because, yeah. you know, I wanted the staff to... It's a restaurant right, say, my boom, so, right down the street from me. So Ray yeah. Allen owns this restaurant yeah, called Grown. Him and his wife, shout out to Shannon. Great yeah. restaurant. You know, it's a black owned restaurant. You know, I went there, I think. They're nice good. Dope. You know, they do it's, everything it's, organic. It's, it's, they have Coconut Grove? No, no, it's down south, south, southwest. Yeah, oh, Coral okay. Gables, type of area. Okay, okay. Right, yeah. You know, but just in general, support black owned businesses. Right. That if if I don't all the other stuff we talked about is stuff that people have opinions on. The opinion that matters to me the most is where I'm at now. Right. You know, because I'm on my, I'm back on my, you know, my street shit. Right. I'm back with the people right. or whatever, supporting black owned businesses. Right. You, you know, eat House shit. of Mac too? Yeah, House yeah. of Mac is the shit in Winwood. No. Oh, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right, right around the corner right. from there. family. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, supporting black owned businesses is something that I didn't realize that was needed from our own culture. Did you see it from Killer Mike on Killer Mike thing? Well, I seen that one right. aspect and, right. I, and he gave a real perspective. Right. If you wanted to go your whole month, Yes. which is supporting black-owned businesses, you're going to be in a crazy place because it's a lot of things that we have not got to that place that we need to be at yet. Right. right. And just in general, I'm just trying to help the narrative. Right. Controlling your narrative is the best thing that any person of color can do. Right. Controlling your narrative. And whatever, like how y'all said about people controlling their negative, right. controlling your narrative is the most important thing that you can ever do for yourself. Mm. And so b supporting a black-owned business is the most important Let's thing to me right shot. now. I, I, can't, I, can't, I can't take it. No, yeah, I'm not it, taking no motherfucking shot. What do you mean? He you tapped mean? out. It's no, no I don't tap out. Trust me, I'm not no, tapping out. No, yes, this is it. I this tap is... in more than you know. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. I'm going to take a piss and I'm going to fucking tap out. No, 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 Let's get out of here, goddamn. You know what I'm saying? But like, no, uh, support black-owned businesses, okay, man. Okay, wow, what is support that? Black -owned businesses. Black -owned. Okay. Support black-owned businesses. Black-owned. Boom, support black-owned businesses, man. All right. You know what I'm saying? Support yes. black-owned businesses. All right. Let support black-owned businesses, something man. That's my style. You know what I'm saying? Different stuff or whatever. Like, mm. even my bag, you know, Telfar. This person, this brother won designer of the year last year in fashion, which is not an easy award to win. Wow. You know what I'm saying? It's not. It might designer sound like nothing. Of the year in France or something? No, in uh, the whole world of right. designer of the year. Wow. You know what I'm saying? This brother won that. Wow. It's Telfair. You know what I'm saying? Like, all this type of thing. Name again? Telfar. Telfair or Telfair? T-E-L-F-A-R. One of the biggest brands. This is, a, this is a New York Birkin right here. Wow. This is the New York Birkin. Okay. This is the Brooklyn Birkin, according to who you, where you're from. All right. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is one of the hottest bags. This is a bags. black designer? It's a black designer. Break it down for us. So, talk, talk, talk. you know, just in general, I mean, I can't tell this man's whole life. He can tell it better than me. But just in general, you it up, black home designers All right. are really killing. Everything I got, I feel super proud that everything yeah. I got on is from a black Oh, let's bring it down. Designer. So Travis Scott did this McDonald's collab. <laughs> Travis oh, Scott. Like Boom. You know, Travis oh. Scott did this. Oh, whatever. Oh. This is Freak Off from Atlanta with the little Uzi. Oh. This is Brownstone. This is a black owned brand on the pants. Wow. My shoes or whatever are from a black owned customizer. These are my socks. Wow. Or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Wow. To, you know, wow. I'm a fashion guy oh. where black people, I wasn't wearing black people designs. Oh. So to be able to do that now oh. on, on its entirety, that's what I'm passionate about. Wow. You know, I, obviously, I'm telling you right now, right. I dropped a hard-ass album. Right. Black Filter is a hard-ass right. album. Right. But for me, my energy is I've never put a gun to your head to force you to believe in my music. Mm. Why would I ever do that? Mm. If you are cool, mm. cool niggas don't tell people they cool. Mm -hmm. we, fly we niggas don't cool. tell niggas they fly. Yeah, we adapt to cool. Great adapt rappers to don't tell niggas they rap. What they mm. do, they get on that mic and they rap. Mm -hmm. So, at the end of the day, you know, however your opinion is, hey, rock on. 
Mm. Because, you know, we nine years in, we're going on 10 for 2022. Mm. I, you know what I'm saying? That's going to be a decade in this shit mm. or whatever. And I'm still doing my thing. And if mm. I pop into a place, niggas know what time mm. it is with me. Mm. Simple as that. No matter what it is. Because all I've been doing my entire career mm. is show and prove. Mm. Double XL, shout out to my girl Vanessa over there, V over there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, show and prove is a thing that they do on Double um, XL. Mm. Show and prove is all you can. You know, and everybody look at look at success differently. And I respect your opinion to a certain extent because mm. if that's the knowledge you have, then right. that's the way you're going to think mm. or whatever. But for me, you know, right now, man, you know, I want people to support black-owned businesses, support black-owned designers. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That's what I care the most about. And to understand that, like, in order for us to stay number one, we're all important. So whether you're a mumble rapper or the best rapper alive, Right. You're all equally important. God and that's damn. all I care about. God damn. Spin King. <laughs> What's next for Spin King? What y'all doing? Um, I got my single out right now with uh, OT Genesis and Five Year Foreign called Ooh. I Got Bitches. We're shooting a video for that next month. Um, What's the name of it? I Got Bitches. Ooh. Go ahead. So then uh, I dropped my candle line last year and we dropped like 200. And when I went to Kane's France and I did the candle there, we sold out, but the production slowed down. So we come back out with that. Wow. End of the year, and then um, same fashion, the fashion stuff, um, the music stuff. Because right now, like what he said, it's the truth. Right. Pandemic taught hustlers how to still hustle. Mm. If you hustle, you got to get to, it and you got to figure it out. Mm. So the hustles, the men became men, and the boys stayed boys in the pandemic time, and mm. that's all facts. it's about. Mm. Super Look, facts. I went from doing 80 parties a month right. to nothing. Wow. 80 parties a month, 15 a week. I was outside DJing club to club, state to state. Now I'm finally getting back to it. I'm in Miami, I go to Atlanta, I go to Orlando, I'm in New York, Texas, right. so I'm able to get back more. It's not the same, though. Right. Ooh, bro, they had me doing the strip club at 8 o'clock in the afternoon, bro. What? <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking uh, DJ Spin King. Uh, For niggas who don't know what's uh, up, because uh, I've seen this man rock, right, right. not even on some like, oh, I'm booked at his club. Right. Like, I've just came to clubs. Right. And... This is what a poppin' DJ look like. Right, right, so for right. him to say that to you, right. that's a big fucking deal big for niggas deal. who don't get that. Right. On God, yeah, bro. Yeah, like, God. Straight right. up, yeah, bro. Like, I'm gonna tell you how fucked up the game is, bro. You see girls on Instagram with Birkins and all this shit, right? right. Bartenders became strippers. I'm gonna just leave, leave right. that out there right. like that. Wait, let's take another shot, bro. Let's take another shot, bro. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about, dog. That's how bad it is. Bond. Bartender said, fuck it. <laughs> they gonna tick tock and tick tock it. But yeah, that's what. And we're just trying to, you know, if you if you got the money, advice to anybody in the business, DJs, artists, invest now because everything is lowered now. So when they get back booming, you're gonna be on top. And that's all it is. You gotta stay prolonged. You can't live in the meantime and try to follow what everybody else is doing. You gotta do your own thing and stay ahead of the game. God damn, let's make some noise, man. Take these flicks. Take out the pictures? Yeah. Right.